frame drop time. T Jesus Christ. <laughs> time. Tower of Time. Look at all those frames I dropped. Wow. 5%. 5% of starting soon. <laughs> it's first likely fine. Um, however, I need to close my window. I had to think for a second what uh, shortcut to press. <laughs> so like nine days or so, <laughs> I already already forget what I'm doing. <sighs> and guess what? Also, hello, welcome to the stream. But you know, I don't really say that anymore because uh, you know I gotta vary, vary it up. You know, to do something different. But some things don't change, and that's the obligatory um, stream start cat shit. So, <laughs> guess what my cat is doing right now? Shitting. Um, so, soon we're gonna check what the hell I'm doing. But first... Oh shit, money. We can roll money, I remember that. But first we... Uh, clean some poop. BRB. Okay. Bam, nine minutes. But we can start now. Twenty-nine? Wait, what oh thirty-two is the one we want, right? I I vaguely remember thirty-two being the number. So <laughs> and it is the uh Yeah, so this is floor Three. Hold on. Floor four. And the uh, the loading problems persist. So it's it wasn't just last time. It it's still. It takes a lot longer to load in than the previous floors, and it's flickering while loading. It can't be seen on stream. 
but I can see my desktop. It flickers, like the game, it's like it's minimizing and then coming back the full screen extremely fast, fast, like two or three times. It's just brr, brr, brr. No, maybe two times while loading. And it's really fucking annoying. So maybe we are not going to roll gold too much. Maybe 31 is good. We don't need 32 or 33 or whatever the max was. Third, maybe 30 is good enough as well. I really hate. It hurts my eyes. And I don't have special eyes, so... You know it's bad. <laughs> when someone with uh, oblivious eyes uh, has something that hurts them. You know. What the fuck is that thing? Alright, so this is Portal. So I did the... Mm, I did the ice, or not ice, the water part, and fire absolutely destroyed everything. Now we're going to the air part, I think. It's all about teleporting. Hey, Bob. Best... I beat, you beat Hitman! Nice. Which one? Also, what are my characters? What do we do? What are we? What is this? Flow hammer. Oh yeah, I have the flow hammer because this is water damage. It's for Kane. Kane, Kane, Kane? Is it Kane? Let's say Kane because if I say Kane, it's like Kanye or just Nye, and that just not good. It's just it's just wrong. So let's just say Kane. Sugar Kane. <laughs> In an absolution, the best one. <laughs> yeah, sure, the best one. Debatable. Beat almost all levels, suit only, except for the courtroom. I mean, yeah, the courtroom is kind of... like how, the, how do you do that with suit only? I feel like you have to go outside, go behind the place where the police cars and the uh, prison bus is stop, right? And then you... There are windows you can climb into. You can go outside on the wall. You can shimmy across. And I think you can get into the judge's uh, office from the outside. But I mean, people are going to notice you crawling on the wall. So you have to take out all the cops in the parking lot. But yeah, there's a... If, if you do suit only, you definitely can't go through the courtroom itself. Because... <laughs> You know, everybody's like, hey, who the fuck are you? You're not even supposed to be here. Yeah. But I mean, it can be done. You got no idea, so you didn't tell him? That's fair. It's fine. Did climb in the window and get the judge's costume? Yeah, I think that's the how. how because from, from his room, you can... It goes to the corridor. That tiny corridor where you... Uh, but you go into the next loading screen. And you... I th oh, actually, no, it doesn't. It loops back into the courtroom itself. But you might be able to hide, like crouch and crouch walk, across the podium. I don't know. I mean, once people go and take their break, there's less people in there, so maybe... Maybe you can just... I don't know. Just shoot everybody and then walk across. I mean, suit only. If you're only focusing on suit only, you can just literally kill everybody. All that matters is that you're doing it suit only, right? Unless suit only also requires you to not get spotted. You shot everybody in the last three levels? Good. <laughs> I don't even... Actually, the last three levels kind of need you to shoot everybody. It's the revenge part. It's like, yes, I got one last job to do and you kill all the uh, fucking heavy armored dudes and stuff. All the XCOM looking dudes get murdered. Okay, what am I doing? So this guy has a water hammer. This guy... what is this? Hmm... Selected equipped. Okay, so selected is this purple one. Better armor, better defenses. What do I lose? I lose 3% penetration and uh, magic penetration. I get more health and health regen. I get less movement speed, but I mean, she's an archer. Why am I not using this? This is awesome for her. Although, she doesn't need defenses. 
I think that's why I'm not using it, because that extra 3 armor penetration, it's flat extra 3 damage. What does this guy have? Frost vest. What does this guy have? This guy's a mage. All I remember is that Eric has the best lines. That's all. Arcane gold subatons of topaz. Corrupted champion's shoes. It gives fuck all movement speed. Oh yeah, I don't think I'm ever going to use this. Actually, this is not even good. I mean, good armor. But Kane, oh yeah, Kane has... Yeah. So he needs movement speed on other things before I can do this. I would put his armor off, though. Alright. And he's got the hammer. And the reason this girl is not in the party, the active party, is because she's basically Maeve, but... Less reliable elements. More expensive teleports. A shittier tower. Well, I guess both of their stationary things are kind of shit. This one is air, and this one is earth. And she's got this, which is air. We're going into an air area, so I don't need her air powers. But then again, Maeve's arrow barrage is also air. And this thing is also air. Then again, Aero Barrage can blind. And she's basically the physical damage as well. Plus, she's got the bear traps. Yeah, so I'm still keeping her. It was actually a really fun suit only. You feel like if we're using this guy's, you would have a lot less fun. So, what does the suit do? People just. So, you can't get a. Uh... You can't get uh, compromised, but everybody knows you're not supposed to be anywhere. So you have to... You have to be 100% stealthy, right? Or you just kill everybody. In my absorption part, you're interested in stealth games, so now you're thinking about playing Splinter Cell and shit. Play Thief. The old Thief. Not the new one. I heard the new one was not as good. Then again, I haven't played any of the Thief games. Play the Thief games, man. Thief! <clears throat> Thief. Alright, so there's a golden gong. I'm definitely going to punch it. Large gong. When your champion strikes it, it only vibrates silently. It's a shitty gong, then. You got a chest drawing a scroll. I have a lot of blue... blue... Whatever the hell those are. Gems. So this takes us... To Texas. Where the hell are we? No to travel this. Good golem. Is it a dead golem? Look! One of our foes laid stricken. It's the way of my people that we must aid him. It's dead. Would you heal? You would heal your enemy only to kill them in combat? Yes. Nice. Uh, yet we find peace and understanding follow compassion more often than they do conflict. You don't think Thief is for you? Isn't Thief a stealth game? Or play Metal Gear Solid 1. The best one. Well, whatever it is, it is you believe, I can't see how we can help him. Why, Sir Druid, it's obvious. There's a piece missing from the middle of his breastplate. You have a keen eye, Rakim. Right. Oh, it's, it's a side quest. We need a... It's a golem, an air golem. We need a chest plate thingy for this guy. There's a note. Volume 4 for Proteus, Nature of Magic. People from all races were consumed by this newfound omnipotence. The great wall forges turned cold for the first time in eons. Why toy to mine and smelt metals when a fistful of soil could yield the purest adamantine in the hands of a magus? Why engage in commerce when goods could be conjured from thin air in the twinkling of an eye? Frostlings started to terraform their ice planes into winter gardens, forgetting all else. Even elves, usually above any excitement, were enthralled by magic, willing it to give life to their great forests. On the shadow people showed prudence concerning the power. They alone questioned its origins. Shadow people. Da -da 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 -da. 
You tried Metal Gear Solid and Thief many times, just got can't get into them. Yeah, but you did that before the stealth game Air Sector, okay. The stealth game craze came over you, so maybe... Maybe you would not mind them that much. Ooh, 31. 29! No. No less than 30, please. Thank you. See how long it takes for it to even start loading? And then it did the flicker. What the fuck is wrong with this game? You know what? Fuck it. I'm not loading it again. I don't care. So this should take us back to the beginning. And yes, it does. This is where the gate was. And this is this crossbow we didn't take. It's a one-hander. It's a shit one. Oh, Kleiser's crossbow. It has Kleiser's... Whatever the hell that is. Armor, armor melt? Okay. It just doesn't have a U in it, so it confused me. Reduces armor by 1 for 60 seconds upon each hit. Act stacks for a maximum reduction of 60 armor. Yeah, if you can hit it once every second. And it's pretty fast. 0.6 attacks per second. And with our plus 82% attack speed... Oh, you know... We could make use of the armor melt to its full potential, essentially. Especially if I use arrow barrage a couple times on enemies. That probably uh, applies the armor melt, because it's like five shots. Uh, five, yeah, five arrows. Yeah, and it just stays five anyways. Ah! That's cool, but what's the damage? What's the crit? Crit is 10%. Basic armor penetration is just 5, but I mean it stacks up, so... It's potentially 65 armor penetration. But it has absolutely no damage. So sure, it penetrates 60 armor. But... The other one already deals so much more damage that it doesn't need that armor penetration, so... It's kind of a shit one. Kind of such a shit one, I just don't care. Yeah. If he's just a little too horror for you, considering you're a huge pussy! Might try again sometime later, Metal Gear Solid just feels so outdated in, in controls and camera. Yeah, I mean, Metal Gear Solid, the old ones, yeah. Oh, top down or whatever the fuck. I never played any Metal Gear Solid, so... I just saw some... some footage. Not even full Let's Plays or anything, so I, I don't know, but yeah, it, it is kind of dated. I didn't know Thief was horror -y. I know that the old OG Thief is a lot more dark than, than the new one. I guess in, it's like actually darker. It's harder to see shit. I didn't know it was, it was a spookum game. I haven't played it. Alright, where does this lead? Air sector. Oh, there's a tra teleport. Let's activate the teleport. Okay, it's active. There's a living tornado. Let's not touch it. You know what? Let's touch it. Fuck it. Magic manifests here as fierce tornado. Must be a way that exceeds... What? Must be a way that excess magic power is released. Ah, so it's just farting. It's a smokestack. We got some money. We are teleporting all over the fucking place. There's a chest. Gotta travel this, travel this, travel this, travel this, travel this. Golem! Travel this, travel this, travel this, travel this, travel... Golem! Oh, golden gong. Yeah, we touched it. Did nothing. Lever. Travel this. There's another golden gong. Travel this. So these gongs might serve a purpose later on. But not right now. 30. I'll take it. I hate that I have to take it. But I, but the loading times are for some reason fucking long, and the, the flickering pisses me off. So, no, who did they capture? They captured fucking Maeve, I think. Fire Golem, Steam Golem, Water Golem, Armored Sentinel, Sky Guardian, and Acid Boy. So everything the same way. It's a nice refresh, I guess. How may I help you? And they captured Money Mate and Maeve. They captured the damage dealers. And my cat is dying outside, and that adds more action to the whole thing. I think I want to get out of... get Eric out, because then Eric can 
immediately put down two summons. And Maev can only put down one summon and that summon is invulnerable. So get on this. Uh, put that on it. Put that on it. May the light guide you don't really have any attack, you can do a Q. Oh no, they're coming. That is gonna be such bull sweat. Put that on so they get diverted. Yes, my lord. Put that over there so they get a little dazed. Oh yeah, the hammer is actually shit. I don't know what that does. Alright, he's out. Money. Money. Put that guy down. Put that guy down. Yes, my lord. Everybody go and attack this thing. Use your Oh he has he's got the stone stuff on. That's not cool. That's alright. Alright, my is out. Use that. Activate yourself. Put down some shit on these guys. Of course. Run off. Oh yeah, we're we Gucci. Alright, I can I can actually reach it now. It's not like I can't stop the game, you know? <laughs> Like the closest to Hitman Absolution would be Splinter Cell, I guess. Just not the uh, newest ones. I think the series really fell, fell from grace. Your Homer from Simpsons? I don't know. I don't think he did. I guess actually Metal Gear Solid could be very close, if not to my for my personal problems with it. Yeah, I guess. Oh, I guess. My lord. Um, where do I send these? I go send them down no. here. Advancing. Unleash hell. Consider it done. All right, unleash hell and consider it done. I don't know why you would have heard Homer Simpson. May the light guide your. I don't think any one of the characters sounds close to him. Also, we're skipping frames due to encoding lag. What the fuck? Hold on. I restarted everything just for this, because I know this game is somehow very weird. What the fuck? So, it's eating 90% of my GPU, while OBS is eating 30%. I feel like that's more than 100. And that was not the case last stream. This game is getting worse the longer we play it. What the fuck, 90%? Wait, did it go back to uncapped frame rate? I hope not. It's already on very low. It's maximum 60, so it didn't. I have no fucking clue. Maybe it's just the combat. Only 18% enemies defeated. There's gonna be a lot of enemies. Which is interesting. However, it's also not difficult. At your service. At your service. I never miss. Oh. Yes. Put more of that there. Yes, my lord. This guy's trying his patience, but he can't. <laughs> I guess it could be. Oh yeah. The guy who just said, "Let the light guide you" or something. Kane. Shoot them. Sire. Sire. Your wish is my command. Your wish is my command. No, he doesn't sound as bad as Homer. The American Homer fucking voice acting yes. is so shit. I actually don't like his voice actor. I mean, not that. <laughs> it's kind of bad, in my opinion. I, I actually like the Hungarian one more than the English one. And we're not going to listen to examples because it's TOS and. DMCA, or the, mostly DMCA, I guess. I mean, I, I I actually have the fucking audio split set up. I'm just lazy to toggle it, so we're not going to care about Homer Simpson. 20 second cooldown, and they live for like fucking... How long do they live? 
90 seconds. Oh my god, I can I can just spam these fucking things. He's a summoner. Where? Shoot them. Look at him. He's just he's just creating life. Life is being created. Kind of reminds you to, of Homer. That you disagree? I mean, you can. I just don't care. I mean, wait. What? What do you disagree with? My my personal opinion. <laughs> I can't disagree. Well, I mean, I, you can. Unless you say I'm wrong. Because if I if you say I'm wrong, I mean that's personal opinion. Oh shit, I just realized, yeah, since we are in the air zone, summoning the air bow is completely pointless. Because the air, air bow does not inherit her magic penetration. So yeah, I could swap out the air bow for something else in this area. Actually, you're wrong, you're factually, I'm factually wrong with my own opinion, yes. Yes, there it is. <laughs> you, you showed your true colors. <laughs> Alright, we got the gloves. A gloves. A multiple gloves. And these gloves are... Uh, these gloves... Give us spell power increase that we don't really care about. Less health. But more flat health. This is shit. What about... Who else uses gloves? Oh yeah, this guy. This guy doesn't have gloves. There you go. Now he's got gloves. So why am I not using this? Oh yeah, because it's defense and not offense. Yeah. So I, I, I don't actually care. However, what can I enchant it with? Chest armor. Health restoration. Reduce negative effects. Elemental resistances. Mana regen. <laughs> and we could stack elemental resistance to everybody again. Ooh, we could just have... Bunch of elemental resistances. You know what? Sure. Sure, buddy. So this guy has 6% in 14 meter radius. This guy has 6% in 20. This guy also has 6% in 20. So in 14 meter radius, we have 18% extra elemental resistances. Just because we are wearing clothes. Yeah. <laughs> so... I lose three armor penetration. That's the biggest thing. But I gain ten flat armor, which is pretty good, and I gain some resistances plus six more. Lose some movement speed, but that's uh, all right, I guess. This guy has the frost vest, so we don't need this thing. Cool. Oh yeah, swap her bow out with something. So we got rain of arrows. The rain of arrows is physical. But trash. It's very trash for fucking 60. Ugh, I don't know about that. Bleeding damage or it weakens, but I don't have an extra point. Eh, Hunter's Mark. An extra 15% damage in a 3 meter area. Actually, I'll, I'll, I'll take that. Because I can put it down on top of the enemies once they uh, stop. And start fighting melee guys or get trapped or something. And you know, an extra 15% damage. Less monocles than Rain of Arrows. Yeah. I mean, it's just for this area where the air doesn't really make sense. Okay. Got some gold. That's a nice amount of gold. So this will probably take us back. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's the... Okay, I thought this was a travel disc as well, but it's just some crystal thing. Random fucking crystal. 30, I'll take 30, it's fine. It's fine, I'm not crying on the inside. We're not taking 29, though. I have higher standards than 29. It's not high enough. The amount. Eat my ass. 
Loyal enemy, learn which skills pose the greatest danger and be ready. Money up there. Oh my god. <laughs> That's nice. Save it. What am I pressing? I'm pressing the wrong key. Alright. God damn it. No, not save. Man. Damn, it's rough being resurrected, dude. Rough. <laughs> Freshly resurrected. Crawled out of the cave. Back to business and it's like 29 gold. Get out of here. Easter. I hate Easter. Oh, this day. Easter goes to a chest! Oh, yeah. Mm hmm. It's a one handed sword of garbage. And 63 gold. You know what? I'm gonna take the 63 gold and the blue and green stones. It's fine. Also, can I roll her? Yeah, I can actually roll her. You roll her shit. How does this work? Can I not? Oh, there we go. Armor, health, health regen, resistances. Yeah, the garbage. What else can I roll? I can roll her pants. Or literally nothing useful. And everything useful is already rolled. Should always roll things. Actually, this one doesn't even have an enchant. Doesn't even have a roll. What is this ring? Mana regen might. A hey, might is useless for him, actually. Yeah, why the fuck does he have a might ring? Wait a minute. Close this. Why does he have a might ring? He doesn't need might. This is garbage. Health regen, mana regen. You don't need this. He needs this. And speed attack speed, resistances, daze immunity. Armor penny, magic penny. It's already better than this might ring. Fenty mana with one mana. I guess the mana region and the mana is why I use it. Yeah, sure. I don't want to start rolling for new rings in the crafting menu. Whatever. Honestly, the shitty loading times. Oh, it puts us down here. Interesting. And the flickering just takes so much fun out of the game. Because now rolling is not as quick. It also hurts my eyes. And it, it just makes me not want to just load anymore. But then I I get angry with myself for not getting the the best amount of money or money rolls. And this just makes the game bad. I just don't like it anymore. It sucks. So we're back down here. Also, this fucking map. If I zoom in and open it again. Okay, so why does it not remember this? Why? I hate it so much. It's not like the devs didn't have time to fix this shit. Maybe they never got feedback or just never cared. So now we walk down here, do a fight. There's also some kind of secret thing here. Or maybe this is where we leave. It might be one of those rage the bridge kind of deals. Because this is where the... Uh... Oh, no, this is where the supervisors are. This is the Wisp. Maybe the Wisp will open something. Yeah, because we need four fragments for the Wisp. We got one. Because the rest of them are in the other areas. So this travel disc does not take us down there. Actually, it does take us somewhere new. Wait, what? Where are we? Oh, it does take us down there. Cool. So we can get the chest here. Whip. There's a whip there. What? Oh, it's down there. Oh my god, look. The farrier area is an enemy. Wait, mono gloves. Oh, that would be nice. Okay, 56 is kind of garbage, but this is a small chest, so it's probably okay. 
Wow, four slots on this, and it's green. And we need green more than anything, so I'll take it. What is this, though? What does it do? It's for magic people. Magic person. Less resistances, less health. No regen, no mana. Gives movement speed and attack speed. It's garbage. What about yours? Compared to yours, it's also garbage. It's too bad, because it had a lot of fucking slots on it. Holy shit, this has so many slots, too. If only this had mana regen. I could put two health regen on this, but I mean, he doesn't need it, he's a healer. If he ever needs health, he just puts down the totem. Is that gold here? There's the other gong that rings silently. Ooh! Empty pedestal, air altar, living firewall. I don't see a wall there. Oh, because that living firewall is down there. Yeah, it's not this place, it's, it's that. Holy shit, that looks bright. Gold whip. Okay. This looks to be a little protected so far. Let's touch it. The air around you swirls and dances, ready to sing at the strike of bell. And if the tune is melodious and pleasing, what boon will be granted? Who is to tell? What a beautiful poem! What is this? It must have something to do with those gongs, because I don't see any bells here. Maybe if we strike them in correct order, we will get the boon of which are the inscription speakers. Uh. Alright, so the gongs appear. There's a third gong. Okay. How many gongs are there, though? So, there are three I know of. Note, travel disc, travel disc, living firewall. There's probably no gongs there. I'm guessing the air area is where the gongs live. So let's touch the gong. Not the... Not this one, because that would be too obvious. Wait a minute, there's more. There's more to this. What the fuck? Another gong! <gasps> Ooh. Is that lucky, or is it just... Now going to let me gong every single one? Gong gong. Where was the last gong? Oh, maybe this is the correct sound. And now it's bad. So that's correct. Okay. So we need a big thing. Okay, two. Dick. I mean, gotta go back all the way to the beginning. Oh. It's the worst part. So we gong that. We gong this. We gong that one. And now the last one we know of. And if that also is a big gong noise. It might immediately be fun and happy and cool. Yeah, only four gongs. Nice, no, good. And it got an amulet and some jam, maybe. A party has struck all four gongs in the correct order. Protective magic around the altar is removed, granting access to the air amulet. Oh, wait, that's for the uh, wisp, I think. Okay. There might be an ambush. It go up there. So can I not get the jam? Like the air amulet? Okay, so the wisps. We got the air, we got the water. Alright. Where does this take us? Alright, it takes us here and we activate another teleporter, which is good. But there's another travel disc here. It might take us down there for some robe of crazed mage. No, it does not take us there. Where the fuck are we? Oh, Nature Magic by Proteus 5. Good. 
All research into new technologies has stopped. Great projects were abandoned and left to decay. Sun farm! 1,000 giant receptacles made of metal and amber stone for collecting an immense amount of energy and converting it into electricity. A rail system spanning the entire land to allow for the quick and cheap transportation of people and cargo. Its once gleaming tracks are gradually being reclaimed by the creeping undergrowth. I have even read in all in the old books of a group seeking to send men to the moon and a giant skyship made of metal and powered by the sun. These things emerged from the genius and the labors of generations, and we abandoned it all for castles in the sky. I mean, honestly, castle in the sky, that's kind of cool. Isn't that an anime or some shit? Oh wait, that's a fountain! An actual fountain! Drink it, pussy. Air resistance. Ooh, I know who that... Who that goes to. His name starts with a K and ends with Ana. <laughs> I think he needs it. Air, 40%. What about the other tank? 32, but he can put on an air shield on himself. 15%. Because this is only for him. And this guy's got the... Uh, this thing. Just 18% of everything. Dude. Dude, drink it. Drink it, dude. Yeah. Cool. Kane! <laughs> Sounds so shitty. Okay. Right, this might take us down to the murder thing. There's also a lever there. Okay. We got a robe. Robe of the crazy mage. Gives us less resistances. Same health. More mana. Okay, that's good. Minus five health regeneration. He cannot take that. 80% skill power increase. Wow. Aura of Flux, negative effect, decreases resistance to all elements of all other champions by 30% in 20 meter. Okay, so it fucks everybody's resistances. It fucks the vi the Varer's health regen. But the power... The power is the power worth it. <laughs> he can easily just heal himself with this, so he doesn't die during combat from the degen. The ant is powerful. The ice cloud is powerful. The earth fury is shit. Oh, wow. 860 damage if something just stays in it. The Water Lord is pop, dude. Dude, I kinda like that. What would the other one happen? 177 skill power. Dude, the elemental barrage would be disgustingly strong. 83. So one is void, so that's true damage. Unless we uh, shoot void entities with it, which have resistance to it, but nothing else does. And random element 83 times 3. And it mobilizes enemies. Oh, that's cool. Or maybe we can have more bolts for extra murder damage. Magic tower is still shared. Meteor is strong, but. 40 seconds, 80 mana. 40 seconds, 70 mana. But he's got... He's got that uh, skill reduction, 61%. She's got nothing. Oh, man. If that Flux wasn't there... Because I feel like because of the Flux, I'm not going to use it. Oh, not Enchant. Uh, forge. Armor skip another five percent skill power because why not?
Because the Flux is minus 30% resistance for everything, for everybody else, so the tanks would become not tanky. I mean, sure, we have the extra 18% in a 14 meter radius because of the items we have. And even in a 20 meter radius, we have the 12. And one of those boots is on him. So in reality, this would be 24. If if only this guy works. If, you know, for Rockham, right? If these others are out of range, it's 24%. And he can put resistances on himself. So honestly, it's not that big of a deal, to be honest. How did I think of it? I just need to keep his... Uh, Elemental shield up, and I need to keep his elemental shield up as well. What's the range of that? Blah, 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 blah. Party armor increase. Party. Oh, it's not a range, so it's not an aura. It's a buff for the entire party. And this is a buff for himself. So, yeah, this would give us 18%. So, it's only 12% negative that we offset. And I mean, it's gonna get better. Our resistances are going to get better as well. Especially, hold on. Hold the phone. I can put resistances on armor. Oh yeah, okay. This flux, our flux, not a, not a problem. Non-issue. Non-issue. Look at this. I just take his little helmet. His little dick helmet. Look at this. Resistances, I got you fam. I can put 5%. I can put 15% on this. Uh, oh, this one is full. What the hell is it on this? Oh, a lot of health regen and health. Okay, that's cool. Uh, okay, I can have 15% on him. What can this thing have? What is this anyways? Stun immunity, air resistance, less health and health regen. I can put 0.1 mana regen on him now. I can offset the health regen. I can put movement speed on him. Oh, movement speed. Then again, he doesn't need the movement speed. He can dash. But if I do that, might as well just put the Corrupted Champion boots on him. Why am I min-maxing so fucking hard? I don't even understand. Put some health regen on it. So it's 0.4 extra health regen instead of minus 1. His health regen is only 3.5. Oh yeah, because he's got the Corrupted Bullshit on him. Not a Corrupted Bullshit on him. Still, 15% right on that guy. This motherfucker can have another 15% resistances. This asshole can have 10, 15, 25% resistances. So I can fix it, is the thing here, that I can fix it. So that's fine. What is the other thing? Health, reg health degeneration. So 1.4 health per second, negative. 1.4. It's got 174 health. So in about 200 seconds, he's gonna look pretty bad, but still alive. So even that is not that big of a deal. He can heal. He can heal himself. It's fine. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna take that extra. 80% skill power. So, we lose the health regen, we gain an extra 20 mana, we lose some resistances. Perfect, I don't care. Alright. Volcanic War Robe of Airproof. Okay. It lowers her mana by 10, what the fuck? It gives her a lot of resistances. Uh, how about... How about... How about that extra mana is better? How about that extra money is better? Get out of here. Alright, so we got the crazy mage! So he's gonna constantly die during combat, even if he doesn't get touched. So I can't wait for me to forget about his health situation and just watch him die. That's gonna be fun. Ancient chest! Oh no, it's a mimic! Okay. My blade is yours to command! Where does it come from? It's coming from there! Yes. Dude, what? Affirmative. Affirmative. So, what does it have? 55% resistances for everything. 50 armor. A lot of health. 
and it's fire damage. Oh, oh. Fire? But we don't. We are not in the air area. All so right. That's cool. All right. All right, everybody, make way. Whee! All right, he's cool. Lord. Put that on. Put that on. Put that on, and then walk. I never miss. Put that on. Put that on. Put that on, and then walk. Money Martin. Put this on. Put that on. Put that on. And walk. Cool. Onwards to the fray. Look at that. Absolute unleash of murder. Oh, he's actually walking though. Yes, I mean. Stupid. Just attack him. Yes. Look at that. I can put this on as well to get some elemental resistances. Moving he's not attacking. And now we just wait. Now we just keep summoning shit. Put the damage debuff on him. Yes, my lord. Heru Amin. I kind of missed with the. Oh my god! Did you see him or it? Get melted by the fucking rain. <laughs> oh my god. Damage done. I mean, she still did double damage compared to him. But it was mostly because his cooldown with the water thing, right? Like, his normal attacks are shit. Because he still has tier 1 garbage on him. And he's actually fire, <laughs> fire damage. Although the thing was 55 resistances on everything. Yeah, she, she tore a new one to that guy with the traps, the barrage, the crits. Crits are extremely good. Damage mitigated. They mitigated some damage, which is just them healing. Self-healing, minus 78. Okay, so... I mean, he, he's fine, right? You know, I'm definitely going to lose him because I will just not pay attention to his health. Uh, Self-healing other Or healing others, yeah. And he can heal, heal himself as well. He just puts the totem on himself. That's gonna keep him... But I mean, look at the summons. Summons also did. 2700. Almost 2800. So that added to the 2200. 1, 2, 3, 4... Basically 5000 damage. So almost... I mean, better. Better than her crits. And the longer the fight goes, the better this will go. Because he can have like... Four water elementals up and like two, maybe even three ants up at the same time. And if all of them are attacking, yeah, that extra 80% power is definitely worth it. Let's let's see if we can look at defenses of people. So we got the water spirit. I feel like the aura is not uh, active on them anymore. Where is where is Kana? Kano? Kana? Where's Kenny? Kenny! Oh, there he is. McCain, yeah, okay, so the resistance hours don't work anymore. Because it would have to show under the little uh, tooltip. Yeah, or the legend or whatever. Yeah, my doesn't have it. So I'll have to look at the resistances during combat. Also, we got a bunch of money, some cool purples, and more purples. All the purples, let's go. I like it. Look, the moon is fucking shattered. It's Lua. A fucking Lua in the background. Ah! Alright. Ooh! Two-handed sticks. So one of them we already had. So let's just put this on and see which one is better. So we got the Spectral Darkwood Staff of Lightning and the Spectral Darkwood Staff of Fire. So the one that is selected is probably what we got. More armor, more damage, same water, instead of air it does fire. More resistances, more slow, more magic penetration. It's just more, more crits. Okay, so that's good. Oh yeah, it, it even shows two plus. It's a two plus. It's an enchanted. It's a it's a juiced version of the tier two. So this can can fuck off. Oh, he's going money, money. One hundred and eighty six. One hundred and forty five. One hundred and seventy four. 
So she's got the earth stuff, yeah. So, what do... Oh, I haven't even checked these fucking things on this level. So the air, I want Sky Guardians. So Sky Guardians have the air resistance and they hate Earth. Okay. And we are in the Earth, or in the air zone. Okay, so I feel like I should... Uh... What? What did I not click on? There. I feel like I should swap. So she gets the water stuff. And he gets the two earth things. 169. 26.5, 26.1. Because... Fire... Yeah, 40% fire is a minus 50% earth resi. So his basic attacks are going to be a lot better if he does earth here. Because I'm guessing air, Sky Guardians are going to be the... Uh, the main enemy in this area. Even though we got a Mimic, and we got basically everything except the water stuff when we got ambushed. So, you know, it doesn't really matter. This guy's 200% earth. This guy doesn't care. This guy has 200% water and negative fire. Yeah, it's basically... You're always going to run into someone that has resistances, like complete resistances, but... I feel like in the air area, the main boss is going to be some kind of air thing, so, you know. Obviously. What does this do? It turns off a wall, and that's an elemental, an air elemental. And we are going to break its nose. For fun. So we did this, we did that. We did the gongs, so now we're gonna go down here. And check this area out. This barrier is still up. That goes to the uh, the fireplace. So first we need to finish the air. Let's just teleport back. Over here. Use the disc. And keep moving forward on this area. But that's the door we turned off. So we can go and murder the fucker. Or we can go down here and just look around. Oh, look at that. Nice and cozy. This place looks like an archaeological dig! Yet, what would anyone be looking here for? Whatever it was, the amount of work done indicates that it must have been a very valuable thing. Alright. Don't know why I read it like that. Okay, I'll take that. 31. Actually... Wait. Um, is there something I could upgrade? 710, 710, 710. Blueprint needed, blueprint needed, blueprint needed. No. Can I upgrade people though? That's the wrong area. Ooh, I can definitely upgrade Rockham and Khan. Khan. And also Whisper and Boron and Unknown. Whisper. Oh my god. Whisper, Whisper, Whisper. What do you get? What do you give? Spell power. <gasps> Spell power increase. Oh, I kind of like that. Anyways, what do you get? You get Mind Control, that don't sound good, and Blizzard, that does sound good, but for Blizzard you need to be level 9. You cannot go level 9, you can only go level 7. So better Elemental Barrage, nothing for Thunder Injection. Drugs! Better Totem, which is kind of poopy. Better Suffocation, which is not my king. More Teleport. More Teleport. Nothing for the fire and mind control, that kind of shit. What does Kuhn get? Better wall that we don't really use. Better healing that we haven't really used in a while. It's mostly for boss fights. And during the spider boss I used it because the spider boss... Honestly, the spider boss was the, the strongest fucking fight. The toughest fight so far. More taunting that doesn't matter because he can just dash into people and generate threat. That's why Quick Dash is so much better, because you can just dash a lot. No need for taunting. A little stronger reinforced armor. Which won't increase the elemental resistance, it will just don't increase the base armor. 
and maybe the duration, hopefully, but definitely the monocos. We don't care about that. Until we get level 8, we don't care about this level 7 ability. Nothing for the shitty wave, and he would get Blades of Justice, which just looks like a cage. I mean, honestly, more CC is not bad, but he already has the wall. Eh, why would this asshole get on level 7? Blind, we don't care. Hammers, okay, the hammer would be nice. Stronger fireball, okay. Acid splash, that's new, it's probably earth damage. There's Path of Exile. Oh yeah, it's, it looks funny, but it's not that impressive. It's not better than the Fireball, that's for sure. Okay, I might level up Kane. Then again, have I found... Blueprint. Oh, there's a blueprint of this map. There's a fucking... What is this? A butterfly? What the fuck is this? Get out of here! Anyways, uh, <clears throat> sorry. There's a blueprint on this map. You know what? Let's get the blueprint first. Because if it's the magic blueprint for Eric, then Eric is going to get the levels. 100%. So, let's just keep looking for the blueprint, I guess. There's a drawing here. A strange drawing depicting a large golden box adorned with intricate ornaments and a lesser scroll. 3% water resistance. He gets that because his skill does not give water resistance, I think. Yet yeah, gives fire, earth, and air, not water. So he's, he's getting the water resistance. It's 45. Ooh. There's a whip. A letter whip lays on the table. There's a letter J carved in at its handle. It is of no use to your champions. So, the archaeological dig for the golden box was probably done with some slavery. Cool. Slavery gets shit done. As we all know. I adore slavery. <clears throat> I mean, what? I abhor slavery, sorry. Ooh! 50, so it could get better, but I really don't want to roll it because it's annoying. Uh, level 2 shield. It's a shitty shield, so it's not a big shield, it's a, it's a buckler shield. It looks cool. Nice armor, nice resistances, a flat armor bonus of 10%, health, movement speed, crit chance. Ooh. Oh, no damage reflection though. However, I could make this into purple if I find, find a forge. And that would give it a, uh, a slot. Nice shield. Shields. Elemental protection. 8%. Obsidian crust. Armor. And retribution. 30% physical damage before armor. Back to the enemy is true damage. But only if they deal physical damage, though. It's not even that good in this area. Yeah, physical damage. So right now it's not that important, so I could swap it out easy. Because everything, even the Mimic dealt elemental damage, so, you know, whatever. He would get a lot of good stuff. He would lose, he would actually gain one might as well. Oh, great. That's actually pretty dope. 0.7 extra DPS. 3% extra thingy. He gets health, a lot of health, holy shit. Why does this... Oh yeah, 40 health, plus the bonus, that's why it's like 70, almost. Get some movement speed, gets a lot of armor, okay, cool. Honestly, this granite shield is not needed anymore. Because even, even the normal shield is... ...is almost on par. Yeah, I feel like I'm going to break the granite shield. Because it was a nice free enchant. I think the enchant was free on it. Like it came with the enchant. But it had minus two might. I think the forge is the, the extra might on it. Yeah. I'm gonna break it. Because this guy doesn't use shields. And this guy doesn't use shields. And this probably is going to be another archer. 
Because we have two mages, three melees, and only one archer. So this is probably going to be an archer. But even if it's melee, I, I, I don't care. So, goodbye. Give me some purple. Ooh! Okay, so it gave me three purple. So it does not give you gems for the enchant. Okay, that's good to know. And this can also be forged. Elemental resistance. All elemental resistance is 2%. So 4% for everything. Or 5% for two things. Or 10% for one. I feel like the these are a lot better. They just, you know, pad it out. I could give him some fire resistance. Or when the time comes. Of the fire. Fireplace. There you go. 10%. Could have given him six armor, I just realized that's that's three. Oh well. It's stuck like that now. That's alright, cool. Cool beans. I mean his little helmet can still have poop on it. Oh yeah, that's just plus one. Yeah, I should have. Ah, whatever, man. I don't care. It's not forged for a reason. It doesn't need to be. He's Strong enough. What is this though? What are these boots? Mm. Okay. Alright. One speed. Attack speed. Okay. So less crit chance. But it has an enchant. What are the enchants for feats? Feetsies. We got resistance aura. So we could get another 6% for everybody. What do I give up? 3% crit chance? 4% crit chance. That's a lot. One extra armor, 1% extra resistance is 5 extra health. Attack speed 3% though. Actually it's less health because we lose the percentage. Huh! <laughs> Okay. Alright. It's good. <laughs> I could put crit chance on it. So I'll only lose 2% crit chance, which is still a loss of 2% crit chance, but I can do this funny thing. This this here funny thing right here. <laughs> Dude, she's got 12% elemental resistance, and that also applies to her. Not just everybody in the radius. So, there is your 12% extra. One is 14 meters short. But the other is 20. This guy has the 20. This guy has the 20. It's only this asshole that doesn't have it. So this minus 30% is already just... Who gives a fuck? And we have the buffs. Yeah, alright. I was worried for nothing. Um, and you can have these boots, I guess. Lower movement speed, lower attack speed, but you get some health, which is nice for you. Oh my god, I almost clicked on the hammer. Oh, I almost pissed myself. Alright. I could also look into making a tier, another tier 2 tablet for this guy. But right now it's not needed. Actually, she's going to put on the fire stuff. Because we're doing the air and probably the next area is going to be the fire. So... Yeah. Okay, that's cool. We're gearing up. Gearing up like mad. Oh, yeah. Let's go kill this fucking air boy. Hello. You look stupid. A quivering wave of distortion in a crudely human shape blocks your passage to the air crystal. The elemental is difficult to see as if looking through pitted glass. If not for the lightning-like crackles discharging all around it, it might have gone completely unnoticed. This must be the final test in this part of the trials. Oh no. Not the final test. Anyways. Money. Money, money! Alright. So what, what are you allergic to? He's got wisps, and he's got himself. Guardian of the Crystal deals high damage but needs a long time to recharge. A lot of air damage, a lot of health, but we can melt the shit out of it. Doesn't like earth, doesn't like water that much, 
<laughs> so, I could choose to swap out his uh, Eric's icy rain to the Earth Balls. However, I don't like the Earth Balls. So, fire is going to be ass cancer here. I could swap out Rockem for someone else. Oh, this guy has Typhoon, creates a tornado with a radius of 3 meters, inflicts elemental weakness on champions, reducing the resistances by 60%, so dodge that shit. Dazing Aura, restricted movement aura, champions within 4 meters are immobilized. I mean, who cares? Reflective Aura, reflects 50% physical damage dealt, both melee and range, yikes. Back to your champions, your champions can receive fatal damage this way, yeah, so... Maeve might kill herself, but that's fine. That's that's the fun of things, yes. And air wisps, these are like little farts. These are basically fucking useless. Yeah. Okay, let's withdraw. With withdraw. So Rockham is basically full fire. He he's a fireman. Also, this guy could swap the physical to water. But what's the armor on this boy? What's your armor? 25. 12. Water resistance is 30. What's your armor penetration? Garbage. Alright, interesting. So that's what? 17 armor after the penetration. Or, we get 30% of this resisted, yeah, he's, he's sticking with, uh, whatever, the oh my god, look at this guy, holy shit, it gives 50% water resistance, too bad I got this after the water area, yeah, yeah, anyways, he sticks with uh, physical, this guy also sticks with physical, but this guy might go away, because he's got, he's got inner fire, Buffs him though, that's pretty good. He's got fire runes, fire hammers, fireball, fire walking. Could have the acid splash with his earth. I might just level him up and just swap his fireball with acid splash. Or I could get the shouty man. Kratos! With the winter wall, because that thing is actually pretty cool. Or I could just get Wisp in here. Or Whisper, whatever the fuck her name is. Whisper. Actually, no, because she's got air, she's got random elemental bullshit. Ah! Poopy cock. My blade is yours to command. It doesn't matter. There it is. This guy just immediately locks him down. Yes, sir. This guy just poops on him. Not pooping. Out. Oh, poop. Advancing. Right. I never she miss. just upgrades herself. Put down this guy here. This guy here. Right. And now we kill him. So let's see the resistances. So I got the minus 30% from the crazy mage. And you got an extra 18%. Because two for her, from herself, and one from his boots. So Kane is already far, yes. too far. So if we Go walk on. her over here... One, two, three, four... Okay, so he gets all four of them. His own, her two, and Kane's one. So she, if she walks over here, she's gonna have... Like in 24% elemental resistance back. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. He's not supposed to have the minus 30%. The description says on the fucking thing that every other champion, not him. So only these stupid fucks. 
Why is he getting the 30% debuff? Someone coded this wrong. Ray. That's okay. 21%, 25%. I'm in the hood. Buff yourself. Yes. Buff everybody. Alright, we got We got nothing for this guy, but he got debuffed. It's <laughs> oh hey, that's the tree end. Hold on. Oh my god, look at that fucking frame skipping because of the overlay. It does it. Holy shit. <laughs> this game does not like OBS. This game just doesn't like to be streamed. <laughs> I think. I don't know. <laughs> Fuck it. It's getting worse the lower we go with the tower. That's the first, like, two, three levels. It wasn't this bad. Anyways, uh, yeah, so... 43%. Okay, I think it just shows up as a status effect. Can you hear the scratching? That was my cat. He's being a retard. Yeah, anyways, I think it does apply. Because... He got the bonuses from this guy's thing, which is 18%, right? Money Marte. Money Marte! The game is being a piece of shit. Also, put the totem on yourself so it doesn't die. Oh no, now it's 75%. Oh, because the totem also gives resistances. I don't even fucking know. What's yes, yours? It's Kane in this mess of a shit. There he is. Yeah, he's struggling, but he also got debuffed. They both got that 60% debuff. This guy's also struggling, look at that. 139% negative. Too bad we don't deal any earth. Air is he, earth is he. Shoot them. Oh, actually, uh, my deals earth. My lord? Because she's a champion. The champion of the people. Hell, I mean. hell. Which means I'm just gonna spam her uh, bear traps. Orders. Fire. Another end. Yeah, the longer the fight goes. Unless they can overwhelm us with, with ads, and they didn't really do that. <laughs> These boss fights are mostly fucking jokes. Alright. Look at that. Damage. 5,000 basically for both of them. 4,800. Almost completely the same. But, fucking Money Marte here created creatures that dealt a lot more. And also tanked. It's pretty dope. Air Elemental has been violated successfully. Alright. So what did we get? We got some mage stuff. So yeah, look at this. Negative effect decreases resistance to all elements of all other champions. By minus 30% in 20 meter. Wait, if it decreases it by minus 30%, shouldn't it increase it by 30%? Double negatives? Yeah. Anyways. Uh, <laughs> all other champions. Not the wearer. Like, what? 
But apparently it does apply, so that sucks. But I mean, it still doesn't suck enough for me to take it off. That extra 80% skill power, I like it. Actually, what's the difference between Ice Cloud? So it's 61. 86. Another 25. Another 250 damage. If, honestly, it's not that big of a deal. 189, 242. Okay. 95, 133. Okay. Eh, whatever. Doesn't matter. It's cool. It's cool. So that's not going to be used by him. What is this? Better armor, worse resistances, better mana. Actually, worse mana. What am I looking at? It's garbage. Got some pants. Pants! Constructs war pants of resistance. It's going to be worse. Yep, it's worse. It's just it's just bad. Okay, it's just bad, bad pants. Ethereal absorption, regenerate mana each second. Oh, that's cool. Alright, we're gonna have to do some uh, testing. So now his resistances are 30%, right? So, I'm gonna do the challenge. The first training dummy... Wait. Uh, what, what am I doing? No. No! Right. Save. Because I, I don't plan on uh, beating the challenge with him. He's gonna be alone, right? So... Challenge, first guy. Maninata. Maninata! Oh look, he's got these little debuff aura thing going on, that's pretty cool. So... Yeah. That's not supposed to work. That's not how it should be. Like, according to the flavor text, or the, not even flavor text, it's the description of the debuff, right? It decreases all other champions' elemental resistances by 30%. Uh, percent. All others. It shouldn't affect the wearer, according to the, dis to the description, but it does affect him. So that's stupid. Then again, he's the mage. He doesn't need resistances. If... As soon as he gets attacked, I already lost. Because he's not supposed to be in combat. Let's, yes, kill, let's, let's do some challenges. No, oh, let's do some challenges. Alright! Alright! Money marked there. I mean, Vera. I mean, boy. Marte. Yes, of course. Yes, my lord. Ooh. Money. Manka. Manka, he said it. He yes. fucking said Manka. He, he said he said the line. What does this guy even do? 108% resistance is for all elemental. Oh, that sucks. Maybe maybe you should focus on the totems. Put the end on this guy. That sucks. Heal thyself. Okay, kill the to towers with the uh, elementals. Sure. 
Money man there. Get some healing. Shut up! Yeah, it deals no damage. You don't have enough penetration. So wait, it's 108%. Slow, slow, slow. Attacker of the armor, blah blah blah. Stunned, dazed, elemental resistance is negative 12%. Marked. Which is going away right now. So... Yes. My blade is yours to command. So this guy only has like 4% elemental penetration. But it says 108 out of 120. So I'm... I wonder... Does it just show the lowest elemental resistance based on the highest elemental penetration we have in the party? And shouldn't it be less than 108%? I think... I think Eric has like 30 something percent elemental resistance or elemental penetration or magic penetration which I can't check can I check yeah 36 percent it's right there under the uh, earth so damage 69 to 76 in 18 meter range a 36 percent penetration I think that's the penetration actually no it's not what the fuck is that oh it is that's the 29 armor penetration. Uh, where's Kane? Kane! We know your numbers. Where the hell? Where is he? Will could, you, could you move out there? Thank you. Yeah, 8 physical. So it shows the uh, penetration his damage correlates to. So since he's physical, it shows the armor penetration. Since Rakem is physical as well, it shows the armor penetration. So I don't know what his magic is. But, Eric's magic penetration is 36%. So, it would be nice if I had Eric selected and hovered over the dummy, it showed the actual real values. Because 120 minus 36% is definitely not 108%. You know? Unless it's not a flat reduction. So it only shows the debuff it has. So Eric can actually hurt it with the fucking... With the... Ice Cloud. The uh, the Water Elementals actually can't hurt it. Because of that 8%. Yeah. But the Ice Cloud hurts it. 24 damage. See? Every second. Look at that. It's there. It's right there. Because it's blue. And also the uh, Ants hurt it because they're physical. I never miss. However, I don't know what the magic penetration of my Eve is, so I don't know if the uh, arrow barrage is worth it. Let's see. Okay, it deals like what? <laughs> 1 to 3 damage. Because those are the cyan colored ones, because air. So it does go through. Interesting. Very intricate, and they have like four auras on them and shit. <laughs> Let's see. 15%, yeah, so she went through that 108. But without the debuff, she could not scratch it. Yeah, he's got four. 36% and 5%. Yee. Garbage. Garbage. Let's do more challenges. So who was the, the one that gives us... Cool shit. Obsidian Edge is not something I care about. I think the Orcs. Armor Shatter is also not something I care about. A two-handed thing, and it's a I think it's worse than what we have, so it's not them. Monasteel. That could be good. Oh yeah, the one-handed fire sword. But... Do I care? Thorn Stew. Deal 35% of total owner's armor value as physical damage per second in a 4 meter radius. That would be nice. We get a water thingy. Destroy portals. Yes, my lord. Yes, my lord. Destroy the portals. There are only two portals, so let's go kill it. Oh, 
Company. Yes. Money Marte. Affirmative. You fucking killed it. Consider it done. No, don't do that. Yes, moving. At once, sire. Moving into position. Okay. Heru Amin. Put that in there. Shoot them. And shoot them. Oh, where the hell did that come from? Hold on. That's not cool. Yeah, it's not how it's supposed to be. During portals, you're not allowed extra summons. What the fuck? There's a dude there, too. Right between the Kill it. Cheating. <laughs> they came out of the fucking walls, not the portals. Damn. Savage orcs, large group. Right. May the light guide your path. All right, you go. You go far. And you go you close. Money, Marte. Put this here as well. Yes. I'm just gonna just put them some shit. I don't think I need to really worry about stuff like this. Advancing. Over there. I can punch them as soon as they come out. Yes. At your service. You go over here so you can punch as they come out. Very nice. Right between the eyes. On my way. Well Uma de la. Come on, Della. Look at that. Look at that. They hate water. Look at them die. They're drowning. That's pretty funny. My Lord? I should have done these a lot Holy longer hell. or a lot sooner. These stings. Oh my god, the Splash Mountains killed them in like two shots. Why? Savage Orcs, wait. Oh, Veteran Savage Orcs. Oh, okay. Orc Sword Masters. Okay. Don't let them overwhelm your party. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, is that a Veteran? That's Crossbowman. We don't care about that. That is a Sword Master. We. Alright, he brings that I'm down. Lord. Put some shit here. For honor and glory. Money Marte. Shoot them. Oh, I didn't put her uh, thingy back. Whoops. Of course. Money Nata. Money Nata. I fucking love these voice lines. I don't even know what yes, it means. It probably means nothing, right? Oh, yeah, we to the fray. Put these guys. Advancing. Throw some fire at them. They don't really care about fire, but... Whatever. Money Marte. Yes. Oh, yeah. Kill. Okay. Even with the goddamn mana ring she's got, she cannot sustain her mana. But I mean, that's Money perfectly not fine. Oh, you won. Right. I want that. I want that enchant. Oh, it's the last one. Orc leader, weak. Is he gonna be alone? Because if he's alone, he's fucking dead. He's fucking dead if he's alone. Okay, he's not alone. Of course. Gonna walk up here. 
No. Okay, you can go over obstacles. That's At nice. Your service. I never miss. Oh, of course, the fireball daisies as well. <laughs> they just kind of stop in the tracks. Oh no. That's hilarious. Alright. Ready to serve, my lord. Whee. This guy's dead. Who I mean? I think they hate water and uh, air. I think these orcs. But I mean. Okay, still in it. New boss stage. Wait, where's the boss? Is the, is the earth caller the boss? Oh, it is. Someone got pushed out. What? Okay, so who's who? <laughs> we. Yes, my lord. Looks like we're fine. At once, sire. Oh, he's in here. He got pushed over there. Mani Marte. Shoot them. I was having fun. Yeah, that's done. Coming back here. Mani. Yes. Where's this boy? At your service. Mr. Dwarf. Go, Mr. Dwarf. He's got all the hammers under the sun. Advancing. I like how traps don't need a line of sight or anything. Your wish is my command. I never miss. We I'm Lord. Need some healing, man. Yes, moving. May the light guide your path. Yeah, I think he won. Will do. Money Marte. It's the last guy. He's dead. He got handled. Alright, let's do a save because I remember if we lose in there. It's back to the previous save. I hate how this opens every time. Does it open because it's still not done? Let's let's win it. Let's destroy the last dummy phase. And then fucking just swim. So wait, Eric is completely useless against this guy. I never miss. I guess. Your heels up. Oops. Oh, they murdered these uh, these poor elementals real fast. What are these totems, anyways? Earth towers. Actually, kill that thing. We are done. <laughs> I just realized we were kind of dying. These fucking towers are annoying. Are you attacking? There you are. What do I mean? For healing on them bones. Shoot them. Some debuff all around that guy. That's 
probably not going through. Yeah. Kill this tower, actually. Please and thank you. My blade? Oh, he's running out of a mana. What yes, the hell? Moving. Ready to serve, my mana. Lord. Again, it's marked. Marked is pretty pretty good. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to keep marked and not get the uh, spectral bow. Because it's like, it's air damage. Which can be useful, but a lot of enemies have like 40% resistances or to 100% or negatives. And they, in the event they have negative resistance to it, okay, that's fine. But might as well have this thing. This is damage increase. And not just for physical, right? It's for everything. I feel like Hunter's Mark is going to be the way to go instead of the Spectral Bull. I feel. I feel like I would like this more than this shit. Definitely not Rain of Arrows, it stinks. I feel like this should be pretty good. It's 20% damage, and it's probably 25% with the final level, which is at level 10. Ugh. At level 8 she gets more of these, so it can be a larger radius, so easier to hit multiple enemies. Or it can also slow enemies. Now I don't know what slow really means in this game. Is it just movement speed or is it movement and attack speed? Because if it's both attack speed and movement speed then this is pretty good. If it's only movement speed then I do not give a fuck. Still, the extra 5% damage uh, re uh, resistance lowering thingy debuff would be nice. So she needs 3 points. But I'm not getting points. Actually, what, what the fuck is that doing here? <laughs> Smoke screen, it's still a fucking second level in it, even though I don't use it. Wait a minute. Smoke screen, you know? Fuck, fuck you. Uh, that's just an extra second of blind. That's not worth it. Yeah. 20% damage increase. That's decent. Yeah. So we're not going to use the phantom bow it might come back it really depends on what these upgrades are but i need a blueprint yeah air damage it's decent air damage but it's it shoots every other second eh the 30 to 45 dps it's kind of low when we have air with the barrage that can just literally tear people apart and it can crit and it gets the magic penetration because she's the one doing the damage whereas the summon phantom bow the phantom bow does not get magic penetration because it's a summon so it's completely useless against anything that has over a hundred percent yeah fuck it hunter's mark it is and i cannot make it larger should I? Nah, I feel like the 5% flat thing is better. Enemies are also slowed. Oh, it's like glue. Or oh, it's larger. <laughs> like how the icon also gets larger. <laughs> I like that. Anyways, yeah, sure. Let's see if it still opens. Okay, so once it's completely checked out, double ticked, it doesn't open anymore, which is good. But then the second one opens automatically. Please don't do that. I'm trying to kill the veteran savage orcs, man. Three portals, each a quick gathering point for different enemies. Can you survive fighting on multiple fronts? No, that's why I'm not going to fight on multiple fronts. You're gonna fight on singular fronts. You attack the closest one. Go, everybody! Go! Kill the portal, everybody! Go! Use your speed! Unleash I put that on. Put this on. 
money. Put this on. Put that over there. Put this on. Yeah, put that there then. Jesus. Just destroy that portal as fast as we can. Fast as humanely possible. Okay, it's dead. How may I Absolutely shat on them. Moving in 32 the seconds. 40 seconds. Okay, they're definitely going Hello. to come out. My lord? Sucks. Um, you... Just do that. Onwards to the fray. Put your defense on. On my way. Yes. Shoot them. Money. Damn. Right between the eyes. Didn't even do the uh the debuff for anything. Command. Will do. Thanks. Yes. Of course. Yes, of course. Maninata. Oh, that's a, oh my god! What the fuck is this? I just realized what they are. Serve, what Lord. the hell? Whee! That is yes, nasty. Where's this guy? Okay, he's in here. Daze them. Buff them. Debuff them. Stun them. Freeze them. Kill them. Yes. Shrek them. Oh, they're getting... Oh my god. That. Now that lags my shit. <laughs> Holy shit, it's lagging. <laughs> We won though, so they melted easily. <laughs> Just took it. Oh my god, what even was that? Orc leader strong, it's impossible. The final challenge from the orc veterans defeat the orc leader in his prime and his faithful grey shamans in the distance. A massive orc army gathers. Look, he's smiling at me. I really need these thorns too. That is such a sexy upgrade. Ready to serve, I want it. Lord. We're gonna, to we're gonna move in the, move in the middle. Of course. We're gonna move in the middle. No pussy. Let's go. Move in the middle. Will do. We. It's gonna deal with that boy. Yes, moving. So what's your resistances? You don't care about earth. You had, you don't. Oh, they don't like fire. Okay. At least this guy, Earth Golden Leader. Shoot them. Red Leader. Does not like fire. So he's gonna get fire. How do I mean? We're gonna move a little closer. On my way. Is he alone? It's 1% enemies defeated. Somehow. I, I, I feel like he's alone. If he's alone, he's he's absolutely deaded. He's so fucking dead Unleash if he's alone. Hell. Get in there and attack him. That's good. Is he gonna fart? Oh, okay, so he's not the farty kind. Dude, he's so fucking dead. Oh no! He's got he's got boys. Quick, kill him. Kill him before he lays more eggs. Kill him. Massive off a strike. Alright, he's dead. Oh, okay. So it wasn't just him, but his boys really got in too late. How may I help you? All right, for honor and glory. Too late. Shoot them. New boss stage. He's already dead. There's no stage for him. He's dead. And another new boss stage. The game is trying to catch up now. That poor guy. You're going to brutalize him. Ready to serve, my lord. Kill. Sire. Wow, oh, he's got garbage bomb. Yes. That man. Money. Going. Money not done. Ta-da! 
<laughs> just appeared and slapped his head off. Oh no! They got an archer! Shoot them! He's coming! Oh my god, he's 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 gone. He's just fucking gone. There's also someone, someone was coming from here, but they're dead. They're so dead. Oh god. Yes, sir! Right between the de -de 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 -de. Alright then. Yay, we got the thorns too. I don't even know what to put it in. But I want to put it somewhere. So where do we do where do we put the thorns to? Leg armor. Oh. Oh he can't even use that. His leg armor is garbage. Because that would stack with this. Hopefully. But even if it doesn't stack, it's gonna have a Thorns 1 with 25 and Thorns 2 with 35. Oh, I need it. Alright, so we need to craft him. Pants. Pansy pants. Heavy greaves. Purple, because purple gets the enchant slot. Tier 2, because obviously. So a gold gives us resistances and some health points. Oh, that, no, that's all gold, actually. The flat out one does that. The damage gives us some penetration and some health resistance. And the gold leg plate gives us, with protection, gives us more armor, more health points, more awesomeness. Gives two life. Oh, that's pretty good. Ooh. I don't even know what I put it on. Put on this. What, what did I put on it? Health and health regen. Oh, I see. So armor penetration and magic penetration gets lost, but that's fine. He's not gonna have any fucking magic penetration. He's the tank, he doesn't he just needs to stay in the front line. Taunt with the dash, and not the taunt itself. The dash is cheaper. And just live. That's all he needs to do. And occasionally do a wall or a or a buff or something, you know. This will give him more armor. A little more resistances. I lose the flat armor percent. Oh shit, hold on. 80%. Or 80 So it goes down by one. That's okay, we can forge on it. I get 10%, 10 less health, but I get some more regen. And I guess, oh yeah, and I get plus two life, so it's 69, nice. Cool, and I can forge on it. More armor, extra four armor. Yes, and then we enchant it. So I could have health regen, 0.5% health regen, oh that could be cool. Mana regen, which would be nice, but he doesn't have a lot of mana so this wouldn't be much. These are locked, obsidian crust, 15% armor, or thorns. I feel like I want thorns, rather than the obsidian crust. Boink. Alright, let's see. So he's got thorns 1 and thorns 2. Deals percentage of total owner's armor value as physical damage per second in 4 meter radius. <laughs> Should have made a blue one for him. 87. The 60% of his armor per second as a damage that ignores armor. Yeah, he, he's, he's cool. He's he's run. He's done. He's ready. He's ready for the final fight. And these gold leg plates actually kind of suck. Wait a minute. Armor penetration. Worse. Get out of here. And we also got some kind of... Water tablet. 
So what's better, the water tablet or the earth or the water staff? Uh, and it will purely come down to penetration. 10% for the tablets, 24 for the staff. So it would be 20% if I had two tablets. But I don't have two tablets. I only have one. Because look at this one, 19% penetration. It's 16% increase in power and 15% crit. This is amazing. The left stone eye is amazing. Where's the other stone eye? Oh, the right stone eye. It's this one. 22% penetration, 10% power increase, and 15 crit chance. Because this one is shit. 9% penetration. No power, no crit. Oh, actually, there's 10% power. I feel like this staff of... Uh, this water staff of fire should go away. It's kinda shit. Then again, it can be enchanted. It's a ranged weapon. Life drain, slow chains, mono chain, mono drains. Reduce resistances. They don't stack with each other. 12%. I mean, 12% is a 12% uh, penetration, basically. That's nice. 20% extra damage. And this is mostly for physical stuff. I'll just leave it the way it is. No. What else can the tower provide? What are these primal beasts? What do they give us? Life leech. Ooh, 15%. It's the third life leech. What the hell? They give us a shitty bow. I remember this one. Yeah. It's nice elemental shatter, but it's a physical bow. With 20 armor penetration. Why... Also, it has minus 5% lifesteal, so... Does it give life to anything that it hits? What? So these are nasty looking. I like... I like the art. Art is pretty cool. Savage Swarm for Rio. It gives life steal 3. So we get both the ranged and the uh, melee... ...versions. We get a shitty bow and a bunch of money and stuff. Okay. The magic Constructs gave us the mana steal. The fire sword. 20% damage dealt is applied as bleeding. Ignore armor. This could also be cool for uh, Kane. Kane. Because then he doesn't need armor penetration at all. Just a lot of armor and that's some decent-ish weapon. Because 40% of it is going to just go through. Sure, it's over 10 seconds, but I mean, he just stands there and tanks. So, you know, a little over, over time damage. Actually good for him. It's a wand? Ew. Sun power. Oh yeah, this is the multi-projectile one. But it's a wand. A shitty, shitty, shitty wand. Let's get that blueprint first. I want the blueprint. Okay, we're back in here and we can actually get the... Oh, another champion trophy. Ooh, elemental golems. Take the air crystal, your champions pick up small air crystal. They can return to the training supervisor now. Volume 6 of Nature of Magic by Proteus. It took a real calamity to bring sense back to the people. A strange sickness started spreading among all races. People started to lose their sense one by one, consumed from within by the power. First sight would be dimmed. The ability to hear and touch, the insane ravings of the afflicted still ring in the minds of those of us who lived through those appalling times. Deaths started to be counted into thousands, then in tens of thousands, while magic could heal any injury or sickness. It turned out that this magic disease, as people started to call it, would not be cured. We still do not know why. The most credible hypothesis is that while magic can fight an eternal threat, such a virus or bacteria cannot oppose itself. Oh, such as a virus or bacteria, it cannot oppose itself. People savor the sweet power for a brief moment, and then realize too late it's bitter aftertaste. Drugs! Monogloves. 
Tier 1? Ew. What the fuck? Mana gloves. No armor. No health. 40 mana. That's it. 4% crit and 2 mastery. I mean, 2 mastery is not, not, not bad. 174. But I mean, the extra money is not bad either, but... But that cooldown, though. That cooldown. 38%. He also went down to minus 55 from minus 61. I think his chest armor had some cooldown. What can I put on this? Can I put cooldown on this? Resistances, mana, skill power. 5% more skill power here? <laughs> no, we're not going to use the mana gloves on him. His mana region is good enough. He barely runs out. What about her? Construct. Okay, it's a lot of defense she doesn't need. But it gives 12% skill power. So. Cool beans. Yay! Cool gloves, no tanks. And we got the teleporter, so we can go back to the supervisor. Everything is done here, right? So I still need something for the golem. I did the gongs, I did the fountain, got all the gold and chest stuff. Yeah, there's the fire thing, that's probably the next area. Alright. Don't know what I need for the golem, actually. Estuary, a wisp and shit, cool. Magi. Geotash and Biotash. Earth sector. That's probably going to be the last one. Malfunctioning air golem. The missing part found. Your champions have been ambushed by powerful golems, yet luckily one of their chests they found a widget. Oh, okay. I didn't catch on to that. So apparently the ambush that we had not long after. Here or here. At the golem's tit part. Hey golem, we got your chest. Who are you? Why did you help me? It's an air golem, we gotta kill it. We are honorable people, we help you before we kill you. Ha <laughs> How can you speak? No offense, but I thought you were all mindless killing machines. I do not know, I was made different somehow. Uh, I alone was able to question why we are here. That's why they ripped my chest off. The others sensed my difference and disabled me. I have lain here since, pondering the meaning of my existence. I have known only these platforms and the void that surrounds them. Perhaps I should just rejoin my siblings. Brother, there's a whole world to be seen beyond this place. <laughs> wow, Cain. Truly? Then perhaps my destiny lies in this world you speak of. Before I leave, oh, you go up to the surface, everyone's going to piss their pants and flee. Please accept this humble offering in thanks. We golems were built not only to attack, but also to strengthen each other. Air Golem, thankful for restoring him, the grant some of his powers. One of your champions, which one should step forward to receive the boon? Air resistance, brother. <laughs> Thank you, brother. Wait, 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 wait. He just left. He just left the tower. He just poofed out. What is he doing? It... So all the golems could just leave? And the only reason they're not doing it is because they're not programmed to do it. And this guy was kind of malfunctioning. Built different. Literally built different. <laughs> okay, air resistance. Oh yeah, baby. Wait, that's the wrong guy. Cat! 82%. Nice. That's cool because, you know, minus 30% boy is here, so... Knock our air resistance down a little bit. Ooh, Kane! Your shield is so hot. All right, let's go in. Give the supervisors their share. Actually, air crystal, air crystal, powerful gusts of wind, uh, gusts of wind emanate from it. Congratulations, students! You have received the air crystal. Oh God! You have achieved the rank of apprentice. Ooh. However, your evaluation is not exemplary. Your combat tests are unsatisfactory. Your mana expenditure is excessive. Hell yeah, it is. Yup. Please, wait while the administration office is consulted. Are money expenditure excessive? What in our tower is it talking about? 
Administrative office is not responding. Please return in at a time late, later time. Thank you for your patience. Oh, excuse me. These speaking statues truly try my patience. They have no they have one answer to every question. How did the ancients ever endure them? Please return at a later time. Thank you for your patience. Do not fear. I've reset this guardian. I'm afraid the tower is feeling the ravages of time. The further you descend, the more irregularities you will likely encounter. Yeah, and the worse loading screen and more flickering. Thank you very much. <laughs> Poor irregularities. The whole place seems irregular to you. Before you have a chance to react, the voice speaks again. Our champions may not come to you. The Minister of Office has responded. You may continue with your tests, removing barrier to the fire sector. Fire. Okay. Well, you heard your stony friend. Let's get going. Wait! Hammer time! What did it feel like, Your Majesty? As it would itself, it spasmed. The world itself spasmed. Perhaps it's just the power. Oh, so she can sense the shadowy character talking to us. Uh, which is definitely going to be the end boss, probably, definitely, maybe, perhaps, 100%. Perhaps it's just the tower, power of those elemental energies playing tricks on me. Never mind, girl. Fire time. Fire time, which means... Rakem might need to leave. Yeah. Is that a blueprint? Oh, it's a greater skull. Okay, we have a lot of money. A lot of money. Over 3,000 money. That's enough to upgrade all three buildings. However, there is only one blueprint on this level. So I can only upgrade one. Therefore, I'm unlocking Rockham's Acid Splash. Acid Splash! Sprays an acid in cone. Oh wait, I did read this before. It's not that good. It, it's not actually a damage thing. Yeah, I remember this. Oh yeah, shit. It's just armor reduction. That's all it does. It's poop! I mean, it's poop, all things considered. I mean, it could help my Ave's physical damage, but my Ave's physical damage is still so outstandingly amazing. She doesn't need this little acid splash help. It does have stronger fire. Look at that. Ooh. Ooh. Or more hammer time. But it's all fire. And there's also more armor reduction. He could be an armor breaker. Everything of his is fire. And this is not actually earth damage. And I didn't save, did I? Bruh. 910. It's 912. Okay. You can deal with that. Shit, I forgot that the acid splash is not actually earth damage or anything like that, it's just... Breaker armor is basically what it is. Oh, that is so bad! Which means, Rakim is going to leave the party, because his skills are useless. Actually, no, they are not. Hold on. Fireball can daze. Fire... runes... can stun. So they won't deal damage, but they can CC still, and that's good, because dazed and stunned enemies are enemies that are not advancing towards us, not casting at us, and not attacking us, in general. But I kind of want to have another mage. Air, random elemental, which could be fire, plus some void. Earth. air and it can either be a be a larger area or lower resistances fire again what about this guy what does he do water oh 
water damage. His jump is earth damage. He's got the... Okay, he's going to come instead of Rakim. We're taking his ass in. Um, oh yeah, he's medium armor. So he can't really use what Rakim has. He's got a very shitty helmet. He's got a lot of health. Not as much as Rakim. No mana regeneration. Oh yeah, because he doesn't use mana. Good health regen. Decent penetration. I need to make him something good. Although this is pretty good. Except the armor. Armor-wise it's trash. I can enchant his weapons. Whirlwind! Cleaves enemies for 20% damage. 3% is recovered, it doesn't need that. 12% damage is recovered as health. Ooh. 25% is dealt as bleeding. Now, uh, they definitely need Obsidian Edge too. This is armor by 12% for 10 seconds. Multiple do not stack. So this is 14 DPS, this is 12 DPS, 31, 37, and 38. So this should get the Obsidian Edge. And the other should get the health recovery. Alright, got Life Leech and Obsidian Edge 1. This little helmet would have multiply his current value of magic penetration and armor penetration by an extra 20%. It's garbage. He can forge his things. Main damage, additional damage. Oh, because it has air damage. Crit chance, stun chance. This is basically going to be another tank. Daze chance, more stun chance, critical chance. This is the life leech one, yeah. It gets 3 damage or 2 armor penetration, which is just 2 damage equivalent. Well, 3 main damage would be better. Then again... Stun. Oh yeah, because it's a chaotic hammer. Garbage. It's got decent amount of stun chance. Oh, it just keeps whacking. And I could level him up to at least 5. He would get better hammer. You'd get Earth Hammer as well. Let's level him up to 5. It's only 400. So his cleave could get even more cleave damage. With even more water enchant. Or rage generation per attack. 2x for 200 weapons. So it's basically like Rocken's mono, mono generation. Honestly, this would be better in every situation except water damage for fire guys. His jump gets buffed. Earth damage, weakness. His winter wonderland doesn't get a bonus. Frostbite per second or... Longer, more duration and immobilizes. Enemies passing through are rooted. Or, Glacial Aura, damage to enemies within range. I feel like this would be better. 3 meter range. We have enough root with whatever her name. Stun duration, party attack speed, party movement speed, boost duration. But this generates rage. Additional rage gain and deals damage to enemies. Or increases stun duration and boosts party speed. Uh, let's do additional rage. Extra. Bleeding damage or weakness. There's Earth Hammer! Throws a giant hammer dealing damage. Cool. 
This is his threat generation. And his jump is also threat generation. 25 rage, 25 rage. This is the spammable one. But jump is also movement. Let's keep jump. So keep shout for rage generation, obviously. Jump for moving around. Cleave for his buff. So he can cleave everything in front of him. I'm glad I didn't give cleave on his weapons, because he, he actually has that. Uh, he's gonna get... One life. Two life, one might. We're going to uh, test him out. Take him for a spin. There we go. Let's go, Boron. You took 400 of my gold. You better be worth it. The Greater Scroll. Let's skip it for now. It's got Fire Golem, Steam Golem, Water Golem. What? An Elite Acid Guardian. What? <laughs> Although the... Uh, the area probably has the extra fire resistance, right? So let's not even try fire. Apparently Earth is going to be... Uh, water, 200%. What the hell? What? These are, wor these are the worst fucking things. She's water, or he's water and earth, right? So <laughs> these three are not going to care about his, uh, his powers. Should have kept the uh, Whisper, or should have put the Whisper in. A large group of elemental golems is approaching your party. They surround your party and then attack from multiple directions. It's probably going to be lowered water resistances, but these fuckers still don't care about that. That's so ass. Change party. I mean, I can just change it now. I forgot I can do that here. Boron gives us some health. Nice. Ah. Let's see. Yes, my lord. Bigger is always better. <laughs> Alright, cool. <laughs> Alright. Bigger is always better. Bitch. Alright, no pussy. Meet in the middle. No pussy, let's go. Alright, who's casting? Stop that. Point. Unleash him. Ah, they are fucking damaged. Do that. Put some shit on. Money Marte. Money Marte? Monka? Okay, and enemies water resistance minus 70%. Yeah, so we can't. We can barely hurt the water elementals with like Eric and stuff. Fire resistance 100% and heroes plus to one per hit. Ooh, nice. I don't know why I used her fucking fire augment, but that's okay. Yes. Oh yeah, you need to shout, my man. Ah! And then just, I don't know, get in there. Whee! Augment yourself. Heru I mean. Uh, I don't know. Ready to serve, my lord. I mean, physical is still kicking ass. At your service. Bravo, bravo. Right. Affirmative. Ba, 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 ba. All right. So, do you get like rage for, per attack? I do. Cool. I want to draw some water. Boink. Look at that. They're melting. I mean, Splash Mountain is still... Is you know what? Splash Mountain. I completely forgot about Splash Mountain. Oh no, he's he died! <laughs> um, yeah, so I think he degent himself to death. Yes. And also there's some kind of a cage here that may have Consider it done. resulted in his demise. Uh, no more Splash Mountain. Oh, that's gonna suck. No more elementals. His elementals are still alive, though. That's cute. 
Um, keep putting... Oh, I don't have the Earth guy. Whoops. Uh, this might suck a little bit. Shot at him! Eh, eh. Draw death wall. And go in and kill him. I never miss. Of course. Coming. Alright. At your service. Unleash hell. Okay, don't stand in that, whatever that is. Going. Going. Bonk! Alright, she still wrecks things. Alright. How may I help you? Ah! <laughs> this jumps in. Yes, my lord. Yeah. Really? This guy has air as well. Plus, since uh, Mr. Debuff is dead, our resistances are okay. Oh, his armor got sundered. Oh, shit. All right. I shall be Shout. victorious. Draw. There you go, look at him. I don't know which is better, his cleave or his uh, wall damage. Are you fighting at all? Are you doing anything here? Jump on. Okay, he's just kind of messing people up. Ready to serve, my lord. What are you shooting at, lady? Tch, look at them. They're trying to get out, but they can't. They're getting stabbed to shit. Poor Steam Golem. Okay, so, um, uh, Eric kind of went to sleep really, really soon. I like Boron. Boron is actually pretty fun. Because. The longer he fights, the longer he keeps maximum rage, right? Because even his normal attacks generate rage. So he doesn't care about mana at all. Chance his weapon, letting water damage on each hit. Cleaves enemies. So yeah, his clean doesn't actually generate rage normally, but his normal attacks do. And also, I think him getting hit generates rage. Where can I actually read that? Watch and tremble, or races are weird. Blah blah blah. All human. I said. He's a risky man. Yeah, so I think it told me when he first popped up, and it was like Boron joined your party. He does this and that. I don't remember. Either him attacking or him taking damage generates rage. But either way, as long as he's fighting, he's generating rage. So... You know... He can either have some extra water damage, or even more rage generation. I feel like the more rage generation is actually better. Rage generation per attack, 3. Because his winter wall is the water damage. Entry damage, water, frostbite damage per second, 7. Frostbite damage per second, 15. Which is basically the same as the cleaves thing. And since it has 3 second cooldown, but there's a relatively high, actually a pretty high rage cost, because his max rage is 100, I think. Actually, his max rage is 70. Oh, yeah, this is pretty high. The rage cleave is better. So what's with his jump? So he can increase damage and short stun. Or weaken weakening enemies. I think the short stun is nice. 
Short stun, more murder water. Extra rage gain shout. So rage gain is 25 like this. Rage gain is 50 with this. This is amazing. We don't need the 20% speed. But that's, this is what he uses. So you could throw a big hammer. Or you throw axes that do bleed. Or another weakness. Rating damage per second, 3 physical, and it does not get affected by anything. It's just that. It's just flat 3 physical for 20 seconds. It's garbage. I like his win uh, Winter Wall and Cleave with him being able to jump in. His jump has long cooldown, though. This guy can dash a lot faster. So, he can have a lot of weakening attacks. But still, and, and like a mini stun. But we have this guy spamming fire runes with 5 seconds stun. And they are like 6 runes. So enemies can step into the same group multiple times if they walk through it. And he's got the daze ball too. You know what, I'm gonna keep him. I'm gonna keep his dwarf ass. What is this, one-handed axe? What the fuck? Decent one-handed axe. It's a Chaos Axe. Oh, I hate how this thing is here. 3842. Armor uh, Penetration 6. Yeah, but... You see, the problem is, I just buffed these two, so... <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna use him. It's fun, but I, I like the more CC for this guy, for Rakim. So Rakim is going to go and uh, join the party. How do we return to society? How do we... Uh, I guess I have to do this. I either find a battle or do this. Let's do this. But he's fun. I can see why people would use him. He's a decent tank, he has a lot of health. Not as much armor, but a lot of health, so... You know. And he's got a lot of, like, he's got water and earth as attacks. Elemental attacks. So yeah, he's, he's pretty fun. He's a fun little boy. And he's a giant mm, fucking rock man, or ice man, or whatever. And that's just cool. Honestly, if he had heavy armor, I might throw away Kane, or Kane. And just have him with the thorns and such, but sadly uh, that doesn't work. Because then I could have a dwarf, a giant, an elf, and a human. And I could throw the human away for them for the shadow person. Because they are basically interchangeable as well. Just more physical. And this one is more elemental focused. But kinda the same. I also like how fucking uh, what's his face is glowing green. He didn't do that before. It might be because his la his level. Character portrait or models might change based on levels. I don't remember him glowing green before. Look at him, his eyes... I know his chest glowed, but his arm and his eyes? Mm, I think the elf is up to something. Something nasty. Chained golem, empty pedestal, living firewall, relic chest, small chest. Teleport. Alright, let's see. Greater scroll, ancient legend stealth, a mysterious mage who had but one skill, that of mind control. <laughs> he raised that skill to such a level that he could destroy any who stood before him without lifting a finger, ravaging their minds with terror. So exquisite as to stop the heart on the spot. Mind blast! Plus three skill points for minus two life? Wait, skill... <gasps> skill points! Oh, hold on. Hey, <laughs> so she could have one, two, used up already, without leveling up. So at level 15, 
right? Because we need to see the maximum potential skill point gains we can have. We want, don't want to end up with, like, multiple skill points on anybody at, at final level that they can't use. Although, when she goes to level 8, she's gonna have the extra fire. Then again, she's not gonna get the extra fire. She needs level... She needs the, the create modifier. That's what I do with it. So that's not gonna be a problem. However, at level, at level 9, she's gonna have the modifier, which needs the base level as well. So that's 4. 3 more for the barrage, plus 1 for the uh, upgrade. So that's 8. The bear traps, that's another 4, that's 12. 14 for increasing the area on this thing. And I don't care about these. And who knows what headshot is. Maiv might be a contender. This guy is maxed on this, maxed on this, maxed on this. I can swap this out for this, no problem. And he's maxed on this as well. The next level is gonna get this upgraded, this upgraded, that's six. But he only gets four points, I think, so he'll be on five points, he'll be one point short. Well, he might get the three skill points. What about this guy? He's maxed on this, and he's not getting it for a while. He's not getting this thing for a while either, and he's maxed on it. We don't use this. This would be the next. Fireball would be in the next, actually. Stronger fireball. Nothing for this. As it splashes, whatever. So he's fine. Kane. What does he get? That needs a lot of points. So this would be three. <laughs> That's it. Level seven. Because I could put him up to level seven. But I mean, this is three, and I think they get four points per level up, so he would have a point over after level six. Now he would get more points, so that's just one point in here. Three points in here, so there's the four, and he gets Blades of Justice. Uh -huh. So he doesn't need it either. It's either Kane, or not, uh, Eric or Maev. Neither of them need life. So the thing is, Kane and uh, Rakim kind of need that life, because they are frontline people, right? They need to be able to just sit. Boron also need to be able to sit if I ever use him again. And he's okay with his points as well. Maxed, maxed. Maxed. I mean, the jump is not maxed, but... A st stronger push. Little more stun, I guess. Let's see. So max it out. So the stun stays on three seconds. And the weakness stays on twenty-five, but the duration goes up. Interesting. Yeah. But he needs life anyways. What about this guy? So this guy could lose this, because I really don't care about his or her fucking tower. It's not that good. And it's very slow. It attacks once every four seconds. So you basically want it to be either Splash Mountain... ...but it's still slow. It just gains radius. Or you want it to be the Taunter. But we have two melee boys for that. I'm not replacing them with her. It does burning as well. So it's kind of shit. Suffocation Dome is cool for the elemental resistance lowering. Uh... <laughs> Fuck it. Eric got it. Eric dipped his toe in here. Because he's gonna get the Water Lord. This thing. That's eight. And he's only going to get, like, what, four points? Actually, it's not eight points, that's six points, I'm stupid. Six points. I 
I mean, now he's gonna have one left over, I guess. Fuck it. I can just do this now. Poison damage, explosion radius. More stones. Boom. Eh. Look at that. I can just not care about the uh, thingy. Fuck it. It's done. I'm too... Uh, indecisive when it comes to shit like this. I want to min-max, but there's no point. No point min-maxing. We are destroying everything anyways. Nature, part 7. A widespread call to suppress the use of magic was spread across the land while a solution was sought. Surprisingly, people obeyed this and stopped using the power, as almost everyone had lost loved ones to this disease. The brightest minds of the generation came together to discuss the possible option. Thus, four great edicts came to be, the laws that now define our lives fully and undisputedly. Implementation of those edicts was not easy, but there were many executions in the oh, and there were many executions in the early days. But people generally understood that they need to be followed to protect the land. Balance had been restored. So cool, man. Oh wow, we go down here into the chained golems chamber. Or we go down here for gold. <laughs> gold. Nothing else but gold. Thirty-one gold. I'll take it. Oh, there's another blue fountain. That might be good. Oh, chained golem. Look at that. It's like trying to get out. Wait a minute. It's got gold. I spent like 400 gold on Rakem. Or not Rakem, Boron. I need that gold back. So we're going down and... We're going to steal the gold from the golem. I mean, it's chained. It shouldn't care. Hey, this is a secret area? What? How? It was such an obvious route. Who would who would miss this? And a fucking giant dude just struggling. Also, you press Alt and you see gold. You see gold. It's definitely not going to be a secret if you see gold. Anyways. Also, the mushrooms somehow live here. 29... I expect more from a secret area than 29 gold. Ugh. It engages my gag reflexes, it's so bad. Alright, 31, tolerable. Still not 32, but yeah. This guy. I think it's just having fun. Swimming. Why is the peaceful music playing? Hello? Get yourselves! Okay. Is that thing talking to us? Yes, you! Who else? You must be neutralized immediately! I don't understand why my brothers has, haven't done so already. They must be neutralizing someone else, which means I must help them with the task. Kill you. <laughs> if he just shouts at us, kill yourself. It's a fucking zoomer. How strange. You actually expect us to kill ourselves? As if the Queen of Shadows would ever even conceive of taking her own life. Huh! Okay. Oh, please do, you cannot understand. I am compelled to carry out my duties. Not that I've seen you, I simply won't be able to resist until you are neutralized. Uh, I, I know the feeling. I see gold, if I can't pick it up, I'm just, I'm just gonna go mental. Tell us, how did you wind up in chains? It was why. Why what? Not why, why? That's the letter Y. That is his name. I don't know who he is or where he came from. He asked me if I knew where he could find a good drink. When I attempted to neutralize him, he just smiled at my mighty blows and relentless effort when <laughs> attempting to neutralize him. He quickly overcame me in a struggle. Hmm, dragged me to this place, laughing along the way. Oh god, I don't like where this is going. Before he left me here, he threatened to teach me respect for my betters. Okay, this guy got arverted. Uh, yes. Probably, maybe, I don't know. He got chained and definitely violated a little bit. What a curious creature this Y must be. Enough talk. You must be nude. Uh, actually, I have an even better idea. I will grant you a great boon if you neutralize the alien Y and then yourselves. A <laughs> uh, great boon if I kill myself? Nice. Like, hello, you I'll give you a hundred million dollars if you kill yourself. Nice. 
<laughs> the greatest feast ever prepared does not fill the stomach of a man with no teeth. Yes, it does. Let's chop it up. Mash it. Blend it. What the fuck? Have false... Uh, put in false teeth. What? What is wrong with you? <laughs> you don't need teeth. It's good to have teeth. Take care of your teeth, everybody. Good things. What good is a boon if we neutralize ourselves shortly after we get it? Mm, excellent point. Okay, I'll give you the boon if you neutralize the alien, then leave the tower immediately or leap into lava. Your choice. I must have your word, though. Hold on. My cat just opened the door, left, and then I started hearing noises. Alright. <clears throat> Anyways. The tower is nothing if not full of surprises, but something about this creature's strange proposition doesn't sit quite... Jesus Christ. The frames sit quite right. You sense there is far more at stake here than merely appeasing some long-forgotten golem. It is the loss or gain of the golem's boon. Or is it the loss or gain of golem's boon? Or is it your champion's integrity somehow being tested? You can sense that most of them are disgusted at the prospect of accepting the blessing. Alright, there's gonna be a discussion. Perhaps the only real question is, can you afford to let your champions decide on their own? When did I save? I think I saved after I picked up the thing and it was like, it's 31, so I was like, okay, save again. Alignment choice. Tell the golem that you will do as he asks. Of course, that would be a lie. Refuse the ridiculous request. Your word is all that stands between you and dishonor. Let them decide. Sakane, which is elemental resistances, gets one. Eric, which is mana regeneration, gets one. And Whisper, which is spell power, gets minus one. Fuck, my spell power. Then again, mana regen is better. Unable to decide which course of action is most likely to reap the greatest benefit, you decide to let your champions decide for themselves. Since it really boils down to a matter of personal honor anyway, giving them the choice seems more fitting. I mean, that's true. <laughs> They're just floating. They're synchron floating. After a short discussion, the party refuses the golem's request. What? They refuse? That's not what I want. I think you've been chained up here for a little, little too long, if you know what I mean. Make circular motions of death. Uh, you forgotten the value of life. I will neutralize you. My brothers will neutralize you. It must be done. It must be done. But it slowly backs away, leaving the golem threshing in its chains. Perhaps your party will come upon this mysterious why as they explore further. Chain Golem is busy contemplating his existence. Okay, let's not... Let's not talk to the golem yet. Because I don't know where this Y character is, or if it, if they even exist, you know? Because who knows, maybe they're on the next floor or some shit. So we didn't talk to him yet. Yeah. Completely neutral. Receptive. Completely neutral. Sympathetic. Agreeable. And at plus 10, he becomes the super fan. Plus 10 armor. Wow. At that point, it's going to be so negligible. It doesn't even matter. This plus 10 armor and the uh, mono, uh, not the element of resistance are going to be so negligible. Then again, mono region. Actually, mono region would be the best right now. Yeah. Scale power will also be negligible, I think. It's probably like 1% each level. Like, the, the people that don't need skill power don't have skill power. And the ones that need skill power have skill power. So, you know. It's fine. Oh, well. 
Let's leave that boy hanging. He was also in a secret area. This Y character might not exist. Hmm. I don't know, but we'll see. Also, I want to accept his request, because he'll probably, like, we might, like, unchain him and he comes out and we have to fight him or something, and then we kill him and we get the boon anyways, you know. Or at least money! Ooh, nice. Oh yeah, the coveted 32. Where the hell am I? Oh, it's just a small chest. There's some more assholes waiting for us. 57. And two greens. Actually, I need the greens. Okay, three slots, crystal ring, 25 health, 1.2 health regen. This is ass. You don't need this. Health, health regen, 25, 1.2. Okay, movement speed, attack speed. Armor, fire resistance. Oh yeah, this is the day's immune. What can I forge on this? Probably health regen. Oh, I can put mana regen. 0.3. Movement speed. Ooh. Big health regen, though. Lord's Ring is shit. It's kind of shit. Because I can put one health forge on it to have the same health, and it's already better than... Like, that one armor doesn't matter. What is this one? Mana Siphon. It stuns one mana for each weapon hit. That's not much, because he's slow as fuck. 0.17 attack per second. With 10% attack. He just stands. He... Dude, this weapon sucks. I might give him the water hammer. Why is this so slow? It attacks like every five seconds. Jesus. Oh well. Better armor, shit health, mana per hit, movement speed. Yeah, this is also garbage. Because if we don't have the mana per hit, which is one mana every like 4.5 seconds, basically, 0.5 movement speed is good. Next! Although, it's health and health regen, so Eric doesn't need it. Maeve doesn't need it. This guy got the thorns and the stun immunity. Yeah, okay, so it's gonna be... it's gonna be, uh... Rock him! He's gonna get rid of something. You know what? You take the Lord's Ring, because it's still my ring, I guess. We forge... forge this. What's your health region? 5.2, that's not much. There. 35 health. So it's 1.2 extra health regen and 5 extra health. That's a decent upgrade. It's probably a waste of gems, because I could have crafted something better, potentially. But... It's fine. I don't care. You only have one way to go, and it's to the beacon. Small brazier. It is different than others of this type and that your party encountered before. The fire here burns with fierce intensity. It might be uh, an optional... what's my call it? Any ambushes? Hello? Ambush? Fire altar. Flaming father am I... father am I... I am... am I? Am I? And on the kindling of kin, my fire grazes, and my six suns burn bright and true. My boys, my joys, I bask in the blazes. Yet to extinguish them all is to extinguish me too. Okay, we gotta kill six assholes. 
extinguish the fire altar and get the amulet for the wisp. Alright. We get some ritualistic paintings on the very low graphics looking as rocks next to the decent graphics looking trees. Because some things don't get graphics reduction. Weirdly enough. Alright, new fountain. Drink it, Boron. Drink it. Fire resistance. Whoa, 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 whoa. I like that. I know who's gonna get it. Yep. Drink a deep of that fire resistance cup. Wait, why is it still 50? Okay, now it's 60. All right. Look at his resistances. Oh, yes. Formidable tank. What the fuck is this? What is that? Money! Oh, this one is red. Must be cool. 30. Alright. Seventh class is something entirely different. Her skill set is difficult to learn, but once mastered, she alone can do something something. She, we don't have her, so... I guess now we know that it's a she. 30. Yeah, sure. Took the fountain. And then we have a fight here, we have a fight here. So we have something. A beacon. Oh, this is bright. Beacon. Burns with fierce intensity. We cannot go past it. It's... Oh wait, these beacons are the ones, right? These beacons are the suns. It's the same looking thing. We need a way to extinguish these flames. Might be an item. Hello! I see a lot of steam golems and fire golems and portals as well. Great, that's gonna be fun. So I'll see how a fireman handles this. He's got a giant pipe. Armored Sentinel, Steam, Fire. Got water, Sky, and more water. It's like... I'm not even going to pay attention. A group of Elemental Golems is guarding three portals in the area. Destroy all of them before more enemies are summoned. No. Ready to serve, my lord. Okay. We got a big range one, a middle range one, and a big range one. Well, I mean... Damn. 97... 150. Yes, sir. Kill Your this. wish is my command. On my way. Affirmative. Let's go this way. All right. That guy's already raging. What are you doing? Nasty. Will do. Look, they're just casually walking. Oh my God! Look at him. He's creeping. Your wish is my command. All right, you you don't you just walk in there. Right between the eyes. All right, money Monte, do it. May the light guide your path. Acknowledge. Affirmative. Ah. Orders. Yeah, that thing just died. Yes, my lord. Will do. All right, cool. All right. <laughs> of course. At least the water elemental is still slower than Kane. Not by much. The goddamn ant walks him, walks him off. I'm lord. Moving out. Point. For honor and glory. They don't take damage, but they get triggered. Onwards and that's what to I the want. How may I help you? I never miss. Okay, 
heal yourself. Yes. Oops, that was a waste. That's okay. My blade is yours to command. Acknowledge. And we move on. Oh no, the ant died. Ah. Yes, sir. Look at that. Cause even though they don't get damaged, money not die. Don't stand in the death ball. What are you doing? You stupid fuck. <laughs> fuck it. Just go. Kill that totem. He <laughs> stood in the. So that's how he died in the previous one as well. He kind of stood in there and I didn't pay attention. He just melted. That's okay. <laughs> Whoops. I don't know what does that, but it's probably some air bubble or something. Maybe water. So what did we get? We got a ring and... That's it. A ring, huh? It's a crystal ring of gust. Alright, mana points, that's good. Mana region is good. Movement speed and attack speed. Mana, health regen, mana, and oh, eight penetration. That's good. Twenty mana. Oh, this is literally this ring, but this one has one extra might because it got forged. What about this thing? Crystal ring of reconstruction, armor penetration, magic penetration. That's good. Health regen and mastery. Okay, that's good. This would be mana points. 25. So more mana. More mana regen. More attack speed. He doesn't need might. He doesn't need health regen. Actually, he does need health regen. Can this have health regen on it? Probably not. Actually, it can. 0. 0.5. That's still 0. 0.5 less. For what? 6% attack speed? 0.2 mana regeneration? No. Actually. There. 1.5 health regen. This is fucking dying. Can I put on this thing? Main damage penetration. Magic penetration? Skill power? Dude. Duh. This magic pen is 42% now. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. And it applies to his skills as well, so his Icy Rain and his Earth Bones all get the uh, Magic Pen. Too bad the summons don't get it, although that would make the Splash Mountain Golems very, very strong. They're already pretty good. What the hell is this place? A Breach? Champions are surprised to find a breach in the wall here, opening up into a beautiful cave of colorful crystals and ancient stalactites. Alright. Crystals, I like that. Ooh, ooh, what the fuck? Hello! Is this the Earth area? Where are we? Oh, a small chest. That's it. Gold Sabatons of Destruction. 
Nice resistances, better health, no movement speed, no resistance aura. Yeah, I really don't want him to be even slower. It's good for Rakim. Oh yeah, it's definitely good for Rakim. His mastery is gonna go away. Loses 11% skill points. Or skill power. And he loses movement speed, which is not good. Actually, no, he gains... No, he loses movement speed. Yeah, 1.2. Gains some crit chance. So whenever he attacks, he attacks an even higher chance of crit. Guess his resistance is can. Oh god. Uh, I can forge it. I can put some movement speed on it. One point six movement speed. Wait a minute. Oh, I could forge it to the same movement speed as this one. Although the armor is the same, it's just the elemental resistance that's better. Yeah. What's your movement speed now? 6.3. 6 is okay, right? 7 is walk speed. So 6 is actually not okay. Yeah, it's a fucking slow ass dudes. I could give him 5% resistances for every elemental. That'd be a nice value, boots. Look at that. Value boots. I could make this into blue and it might get something cool. So it gets health points and stuff. Ah, that's nice. Value boots for resistance. Ooh. Remote travel disk. Remote? This might lead us to somewhere we cannot come back from. Wait, there's a small forge. Wait, is this. What is the forge here? Oh, it was back here. Okay, never mind. Okay, I thought that was the skull thing. There was something I wanted to forge, but I don't remember anymore. Oh yeah, the shield. Ooh. And then I can give it reflect. Oops. Okay, that's gonna be cool. Point. Where are we? Secret. Lorraine's pistol. Hello. That's a scroll, and the great Azun made the first things that moved, and gazed at what he had wrote, beguiled, for a thousand days and thousand nights, so full of life they were. Life. Cool. Tanking the tank. Hey, that's not a pistol, that's a crossbow. It is a pistol, though, but it's a crossbow. It's a fucking pistol! Ah! <laughs> One-handed pistol! Lorraine's pistol. Didn't we have something that was Lorraine's? But we kind of broke it. There was definitely something that was Lorraine's. Don't know why I'm looking for it on things that don't wear the same stuff. Oh well. Lorraine's crossbow. Or pistol. 54, 64 damage. So less damage. And it's slower. Less penetration. No mana per hit. Garbage crit chance. Plus 2 speed. This is boo. This is big poo. It doesn't have an enchant uh, slot either. Just a shitty ass pistol. 60. 50. Oh, yeah, because attack speed goes up to 92 with it. 
because of the two extra speed. But I mean... Eh. How does, ni how does attack speed go up to 92% from 85? It's like 7%. They don't give that much, do they? Interesting. <laughs> it's gone. I fucking broke it. Expedition camp. Okay. Get out of here. Haha. <laughs> Crystals, give me crystals. Come on. Oh, there's a note. Expedition note. So this is it then. I have reached the end of the road. This cavern provided to be proved to be a dead end, and I cannot hope to pass through those crazy elementals without my Mac. Oh yeah, Lorraine was the fucking Mac person. If only I knew why this teleport if uh, I have you suddenly stopped working. I hope Zealous will recover and come back for me. Such a sweet young boy. Sometimes he acts so strangely, looking at me even he does not see but that I notice. I always wonder if I have a spot of grease on my face or a hole in my shirt. Both. Yet he's dedicated to the expedition and no one else has been. We ventured far, yet we did not discover where those armored beings are coming from. Why they attack us? It's a bad idea to split forces and continue to search in smaller groups. Then again, perhaps one of the other teams has found something useful. I must rest now. My food ran out a while ago, and eating this purple mushroom may have not been the best idea. I feel a pain awakening in my stomach, Lorraine. I think I know why the teleporter stopped working. This was the teleporter that we activated when we pulled the lever. The same lever... Uh, What's-his-face was constantly pulling and, and pulling again, because he didn't figure out what it was doing. It was probably the one that was activating and deactivating the teleporter. So he killed Lorraine by finally deactivating the teleport and then leaving it. Ha! Stupid. So this Lorraine also perished. What a dismal story. Not a drop of memory falls in the ocean of history, not lost forever. Have I mean, a bigs. Are all frostlings so poetic? All frostlings take the time to say what they mean with passion and intent. I was quoting a passage from a saying among my people, spoken when someone dies before his memories can be placed in a memory stone. For a frostling to die without his memory cast into stone, it is a great dishonor. What if, what if it's not your fault though? How lovely! How can we get back to the matter at hand? It looks like there was a larger team involved in this search. Are there no more notes? We must be thorough in our search for clues. Wait a second, what's lying next to her? Is it a... It's, it's a pistol! He already broke it, don't worry about it, Maev, it's gone. <laughs> Miss Maya's seeing joy on Maya's face. You can never tell what makes the girl tick. Guns! You have heard about ancient designs which shot projectiles at extreme velocity, propelled from the barrel by a small explosion of magic. Only broken pieces have been encountered so far, now Maeve's, now Maeve will have the chance to test its effectiveness. If it takes a few test shots, you can sense her anticipation. Um... Whoops. Quest completed, mysterious key. Oh, cool. Cool, I guess. Side quest done. Don't know what key that was. It was probably the, uh, the lever. Rip. So I guess my did some test shots and then we broke it because we realized it was shit. It was ass. So Lorraine dug this entire thing? Jesus. And she even built like a skull cave looking thing. Max. Ooh. It's not moving. <laughs> Ancient chest? Oh, you mate! So again, what exactly is magic? Why the origins of mana nodes are still a mystery. We have a very good understanding now of how magic works. 
being is defined by life force, a physical manifestation of a soul that resides within us. Mana is equivalent to the external force, while it is alien to our nature, it can be absorbed by our body, filtered by it, and then added to our own life force, creating a new mix in the process. Then it can be channeled into a physical manifestation, either internal or external. Internal is when we reveal ourselves to be stronger, external when we reveal the world around us to change. As to the limits to this, of this physical manifestation, they are yet to be discovered, should any exist. For the moment, it seems that the only limitation is our own imagination. Green lanterns? Wow. <laughs> My chair is squeaking so fucking loudly. Jesus Christ. Stop it. There we go. <laughs> Ancient chest, go. What? It's the same ring. Sure, there's the small forge. Oh, so what does this have? So it has good resistances, very nice fire resistance. 13 armor. Oh yeah, I think I put the fire on it. 40 hit points, some movement speed and crit chance. Ah! Because it got an... Oh, it got one end armor and an enchant. Didn't get a new... Uh, property, because it was already blue. It gained another slot, though. Forge slot. Hey, it can have more fire resistance. All elemental resistance health. Armor. Ah, 17. So, 10 more than the normal, whatever. 91 armor. Ooh, beautiful, man. I need to test somehow whether these thorns work or not. I feel like I'm gonna take him to a test dummy kill thing. But first, we enchant the shield. Shield. Retribution! 30% physical damage back to the attacker. But that's just for the physical damage. Or we increase the armor. So this is not the uh, Thorn's aura. This is just... If he gets attacked with physical. I guess eight percent elemental resistance is even more resistance, and these things can be swapped out. The enchants, I think. More retribution. All the retribution. So he deals his own armor value per second in a 4 meter radius and he also reflects 30% of physical yeah that's okay alright let's take take his pants on a spin so we're going to practice ground ready to serve my lord go Go faster! So there's his little aura around. Thorns! They are dealing damage. So it looks like both of them are doing it separately. So Thorns 1 and Thorns 2 proc separately. Is what I'm trying to say. Because I mean, I, I see two damage numbers, right? Cool. Affirmative! Oh wait, no, the white Your circle is his attack command. range. Yeah, he can already thorns from here, he just stands here. Like this guy is melting. And apparently thorns can crit. Maybe. Look at that, crit, 47, that was the thorns 1. 66, that's the thorns 2 that crits. This one is like a consistent 24 and the other is a consistent 33. So definitely the two different hours. Don't combine. They do it separately. They just stood there. And watched the guy die. Okay, that's cool. I like that. Alright. I wonder if it would be better if these combined. 
And sadly, I don't have thorns too. I don't think rings can have. Yeah, rings can't even have thorns, so this is a very good ring. Only leg armor can have thorns. Yeah. So the leg armor will, in time, be thorns 3. Which might be 45, maybe 50%. But it also kind of limits... Actually, it doesn't. The, the ring is limited to this ring and nothing else. Unless I find a better Thorns ring. But his pants can be increased with armor and stuff. Like, he can wear better pants. But they have to be a purple. Or a yellow with uh, a slot. Which is rare. So, yeah. Cool, though. Ah, it's Proteus, is melting. Ooh, gold. Nasty. <laughs> Nasty 29. So it could go from 29 to 32, and most of the time it rolls at 29. It's so stupid. Anyways, that's done. Small forge is done. There's more gold here. Follow the gold. Ah, sure. I'll take that 30. There was Lorraine, dead. We did all this. Small chest, da 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 da. Ancient chest, forge, okay. The beacon stopped us. There is this area, and there was also this battle. Just keep going, I guess. Okay, this leads us into an ancient machinery. Intriguing. Big stairs. Oh! Gold! There's another sun! Alright, sure, I'll take it. We're already back to 3600. Which is more than we had. Okay, that's... Ooh, look at that! Glass or something. And there's another sun. And another sun. One, two, three, four, five. We met five. And there's the Earth region. God damn it. Oh, they're spitting on him because he's weird. Oh, nice. What the hell is that? Old Basin of the Saint. That's not heavy armor, that's for sure. It's medium armor. Oh, our first tier 2 medium. Look at that. It's tier 2 plus as well. Oh. Armor, no resistances, that's okay. Health, less attack speed and movement speed, but it gives skill power increase. With less health. No crit chance. What? It's kind of rubbish. More flat health with less health in... Yeah, that's, that's fucking rubbish. Get out, of here. Get out of here. Huh? Oh, we go down here. Oh, no, we don't. It collapsed or something. Mage pants. Ooh, more shit for Eric. Eric wants. This ancient machinery might give us the means to extinguish the suns. Touch it. There are a lot of valves and clocks attached to this machine. Indicators on most of the clocks are moved to red colored area. We are under pressure. High pressure. Champions cannot identify the purpose, this, purpose of this machinery. Is this like a dam? Like a fucking lava flow dam? 
Is this some kind of geothermal thingy? Harvine Dwarf Fortress. Oh shit, that's the main guy. A small tornado of yellow and red flames roars to life before you, twisting and twirling into a humanoid shape. Crosses two large flames in form of a rudimentary arm across its midsection. Does it though? It doesn't have legs. This must be the guardian of a fire crystal. Even from its distance, it champions feel waves of intense heat boron is already drenched in sweat. They can sweat? Huh. But don't worry, Boron. You will not be part of this fight. Even though it would make more sense than Rockham. Because I don't care. It has Fire Wisps! Fire Wisp. Accompanying Fire Elemental. Guardian of Fire Crystal. Small damage but rapid attacks at close range. It's rapid attacks! It has nothing. It's gonna have minus 150% water. Plus the penetration we have. Mm. We're gonna rain down on them. They will die. Guardian of the Fire Crystal. Since its creation, it has gone wild, developing new fire abilities with high damage. Firestorm. Fire descends from the sky, raining 30 drops over an area with 6 meter radius, dealing 25 fire damage per drop. Let's get out of the range, I guess. Has a lot of health. Not a lot of armor. Maeve can go through this, I think. She's got either 29 or 32 or something along those lines. So her damage will barely be mitigated. She puts on the fire thing, though, which is fine. They don't heal from it. And she'll just crit this thing to death. Magic Reflect. Reflects 100% of direct elemental damage from the skills. Vector Caster. Does not affect summoned creatures or damage per second effects. Duration six. Okay, so direct elemental damage, so don't shoot it. But summoned and damage over time does not get reflected. So, yeah, splash mountain and rain. <laughs> Perfect. Meteor! Flaming rock descends from above, doing 250 damage in 2 meter radius. That's garbage compared to the firestorm, but okay. Kill it! Yes, my lord! Yes, my lord! Money! It's coming from here. Yes, look at it. Such cool creature. Minus 120%. Okay, so water as a fire as a mana regen. Oh, that's so good. And air is also pretty viable against it. Yeah. This is cool, because guess what? We get air. Earth yes. is also decent. Money, manga, Monka. My lord? Monkas. At once, sire. At your service. Right between the eyes. Heru Amin. Taunty Monty. On my way. Air. Air. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Spam it. Oh, she's already out of energy? Wow, that sucks. Money. Another splash mountain. I'm a lord. I think I can put this down. Can it be dazed? I didn't see any stun or dazed. But that's okay. It's fucking dead. Damn. Okay, Ant was kind of hurt. And he was also getting a little pain. But like nothing, nothing big. Got an axe and a helmet. Great. They win. That was so fast. Yeah, that that ice rain just tore him up. <laughs> it's like fighting the uh, water area with Rakim. Rakim just tore everything apart. But this time it's this guy who's tearing everybody apart. Right, so we got an axe. It's 200 eggs. A lot of earth damage. With some air damage. Okay. This will be a backup weapon for him. We are all about to go into the earth area though. So this is going to be useless there. I think this would have been very good against the air. I didn't check what the air area had uh, for resistances. But I think it was extra air-resy and 
less earth. Probably. So this is going to be useless, but it has 40% cleave, which is not that good, but it's okay. It has some air damage. Interesting. So opposing elements. Great. Three mana per hit. It's faster, too. Ooh. What can I forge on it? Damage. So either earth damage, air damage, magic penetration would be the one. Oh yeah, because these do magic penetration. So if something has like 80%, this barely does damage, yeah. So magic pen would be nice. But I'm not going to upgrade it, because I'm not using it yet. Oh shit, I should have used the water hammer with Kane. Yeah, they're still in the fire area, so why not? This is a very good stun, stun weapon. 50% and it's pretty fast, but this is somehow faster. That's a fucking, although this is not a sword, it's a hand. It's literally a fucking arm. It's flailing about. Yeah, because this is going to deal a lot more damage in this area. And can also stun a little bit. Okay. We got a helmet for my Ave. Good resist, good health, good movement speed, good attack speed. It's just an upgrade. Wow. Like. Which means the hand me down is going to this guy. Less health and mana. But everything else is better. Sure. I put on this. I can put crit chance on it. Yeah! 10%? Just got 86% or 68% crit chance. Oh, nice. What was the helmet again? Magic pen and armor pen by 120. Thirty-five armor pen. Okay, that's actually not that bad. She needs better pants, though. Damn, we are ruthless. Also, this guy is wearing wrong things. You should go water. Which water is best? So Twenty-nine percent magic pen. Twenty-one percent. Actually, what am I doing? He should always have the highest magic pen possible. 46% boom. 19, 22, 10, 15. That is this 20. Where is the magic band? Holy shit. 24, yeah. So air and earth. I mean, both are decent against fire, so. Highest magic band, highest skill power. Actually, 180. It might actually be the highest. Yeah. 25, 26.1. Okay, this is his setup now. Although she's got this, but it's fire, so that magic band. It's 18 as well. It's trash. 22, 19. Yeah. Okay. Cool! There's another sun we cannot extinguish. Don't know. I, I can't cast water. Got the fire crystal. Champions take a piece of the fire crystal. Return it to the training supervisor now. All right. Note 9. Magic has two aspects. Additive and subtractive. The additive is when the channel our life force outside. As if removing some part of it from within. To shape it into a new object. This is how, using magic, we create food stockpiles and power crystals to or call rain to fertilize crops. Subtractive is when we remove existing matter, such as when we flatten a mountain to create a new pasture. There are two things in particular which make me wonder at this dynamic. First, what exactly happens to all this matter we remove from our world? Does it disappear completely, or is it turned into something that we do not see, that we do not understand? Could we use up all matter in such a way? S matter in such a way? 
The second question is more troubling. Subtractive magic seems much stronger than the additive type. Why is that the case? Is it the natural order of the universe since it is easier to destroy than to create? Or has someone has made it so? <sighs> Who cares? I got an enchant scroll! Ooh! Sun power one, great. Enchanted weapon shoots three projectiles instead of one. Each projectile does only 20% of the main damage, but 100% of additional damage, including any buffs. Also, reduces skill damage by 40%, which is fucking stupid. Why would I even use this? I guess this could be good for my Aave. Because it's 100% additional damage, so it doubles its damage. But it's only 20% per projectile. I mean, she needs a lot of armor penetration for this to not get absolutely fucked. Because her skill damage doesn't really matter. It's mostly her rooting and the crit increase that matters. But for example, for, for the mage one, the mage is... this would be garbage. Minus 40% skill damage? Pfft. Get out of here. It's so poop. There's a reason why I'm not rushing the dead wand. It has the same shit on it. It's stupid. Mage bands. Ooh. Alright. Pantaloons for the mage. Water stone of the opposite. Okay. Spectral gold stone of magic. What can I forge on this? Thing? More penetration. Yes. Huh. That is amazing. Anyways, magic pants. Okay. Don't really care about the defensive stuff. Same mana. Less health regen. That's poopy. Same mana regen. 10% extra spell power. I like that. Oh, he loses the 0.5% mana regen, though. Free mastery. Ethereal absorption. Yeah, that's the one. And it cannot have that, because it's already yellow. So you can't buff it. So how much would that be? Wow. 1.6. Or 10% skill power? 17% mm, skill power? get an extra mastery would get flat 5% wait flat 5% or plus 1 mastery I think the flat 5% is better could not get mana regen it doesn't run out of mana that much but that's mainly because his mana is at a very good spot right now I feel like I'm going to give it to this one this one also has it Oh, okay, she definitely needs more mana. Nice pants, but... Not a lot of extra... Skip power. Not really worth it. I guess I'll keep it. Because if you find mana regen stuff... That can offset the reduction, then this would be good. So let's keep it now. Where are we though? What are we? So this is the Earth Realm. There's an alien- Oh, there's an alien vibe with an ancient scroll. And there's an empty pedestal. A relic chest and a battle. And a living firefall. Okay, so there's alien Y. Let's see what alien Y is. Ancient machinery. There are a lot of valves, clocks, red colored stuff. Oh, there's gold. Oh, there's alien Y. Okay, that is an actual fucking alien. We might need to just murder that thing. 32. Nice. 30. Alright, sure. Oh, there's the last beacon, too. Chen scroll. Wing shoes. This moment speed in combat by 25%. Feet armor. Can we put on relics?
Yeah, but only relics that have a slot. <laughs> well, look at that. <laughs> Two movement speed. I am not giving this to him. His health regen would also go to shed, but that's okay. 98 armor would be nice. Corruption champion shoes. Ah, uh, garbage. Plus, I would rather have the elemental resistance aura on the feet armor instead. Instead of the uh, speed. Yeah, I feel like this is better. Speed armor. Speed boots, fuck off. Enemy can come to us. Hello, alien, why? What am I looking at here? Oh, there's its face. I can actually see its face. It has eyes. It's an actual... Oh, excuse me. Actual alien. Cool. What the hell is this place? Fascinating, don't you see? This must be reducing mana to extremely high concentrations. Ooh, and it's, and it's swimming in it. Look, it seems to be feeding into those watts. Wait, what is this thing swimming about in there? Hello, strangers. What brings your kind here? Am I ask the same of you? Well, I know English, so... Haha! <laughs> That's a damn good question. I have lived for 10 seconds and I have never found an answer. But I'll say this. This mana is absolutely top-notch. 10 seconds, what? 10 seconds? But that is just two blinks of an eye. Or perhaps it was longer than that. Time is such an obsolete concept for me. What is your name? Why? Why what? Why? As in the letter Y. <laughs> they did the same joke. Again. I have 94 blue crystals. Jesus. That is my name. Surely you must have heard of my kind before. Nope. Uh, this is truly a backward place then. The rural area of the universe. You're distant. I'm a member of Y Continuum. Our kind is all-powerful and we guide the lesser beings on their path to greatness. We have mastered time and space and now go boldly where no one has gone before. So what are you doing here? I'm getting drunk. What the fuck? Why, well, I'm taking a break from my important duties elsewhere. Also, I grew tired of my brethren from Y Continuum. I decided to find a travel companion. I met a suitable creature, but he refused to accept my offer and instead he chose to attack me. It was so very amusing that instead of puffing him, I decided that he would make an excellent companion. Puffing him? Yes, puffing him. Right out of existence with the snap of my fingers. Well, this is something only we can do. Okay. Anyway, I had no choice but to imprison him and imprison him in the cha chasm below. Maybe he'll come round if I give him a few millennia. You could not possibly understand what enough time can accomplish anything. Well, you seem like fairly intelligent beings. Perhaps you can try to convince him. That we might try. I personally find the concept of traveling with you very compelling. To see all those new places, experience new things. Alas, my duty does not allow me that. I have known your type before, Shadow. I would not take you even if you wanted to. Tricksy lot that you are. Ha! Get fucked. Come. Come, Mr. Golem. And come back to me. What? You mean go? What? You can find him close by. You shall have my eternal gratitude. Well, perhaps the eternal is too long. I'll give you something that will last a full hundred seconds then. What? Hundred seconds? Oh, hundred seconds. Why humble us with your attention? I know. Your gratitude would be touching. Were you any of, of any consequence? Alright. Negotiation with the golem. So maybe it's better that we didn't just fucking accept the murder. Blah, 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 but first! Uh, this takes a while. This would take longer. So we go and kill those things down there. Kill those golems and steam machines and such. Still don't know how to snuff out these... Sons. Maybe we will find an answer here. I also need that fucking blueprint. Ooh, gold. 
Such an abysmal amount. Oh, the blinkaging hurts. All right. That extra one. If it didn't blinkage at me, I would definitely roll every single pile to 32, but it, it honestly is inconveniencing me and my eyes. All right, so we got towers. And we got a bunch of shit. Group of elemental golems guarding this position, blocking the path to, of your party. Let's go, Water Hammer. My lord. Water Hammer. Look at that. Their water resistance is minus 100%. Look at that. Minus 80%. Minus 60% on that one. Because it's an actual water tower. Here. Blah. Fire tower. Okay, we're going the fire tower way. We're blasting its miss. asshole into pieces. Acknowledged. Coming. Blast it, Sans. Blast it! Kill it! Murder! Hello, I mean. Right between the eyes. I'm a lord! Stun things. Oh, that's an actual tower. Whatever. Money. Of course. Money! Uma de la. Ooh. Going. You're just going to sit here. All right. Going. Money not done. May the light guide your path. Money. I'm just gonna sit here and just, you know. Oh shit! It's one of those things. <laughs> Get out of it. Get out of its range. That thing did it. It's water. <laughs> it's water. Disgusting water. Ready to serve, my lord. Beat it with your hammer. Oh my god. He's disgusting. Your strong. My so strong. Yes. Right, let's kill this tower. At once, sire. Use your days bombs. Use it. Yes, moving! On my way! Money. Money. Yes. Alright. Alright. Where is slow man? Oh, yes, there my is. lord. Look at him kill. Look at his damage. Holy shit. 99 per hit 101 damn he just yeah so the proper damage the, don't go through that that's a death, death look this guy's getting death as well how may I help you advancing Wow. Where's this guy? Oh. For honor and glory. He's walking around, he's doing his shit. My blade is yours to command. Coming. What the heck is that? Oh, it's dead now. Yes, sir. Head note. Boink. Days. Aha. On my <laughs> way. I never miss. Wonder if I can see the crit chance on the character sheet. No. Just the buffs and stuff. Or pants. Nice. Everybody's gonna be pantsed up. What kind of pants is this? It's more mage pants. Mage pants too. Constructs war pants of reinforcement. Great. A lot of armor. 
a lot of movement speed reduction. Better mana regen, okay, and I could get the ethereal absorption on it, so it's 0.1 mana regen extra. 0.2 health regen, which is good. He doesn't really need movement speed. His resistances are going to go to shit, but he doesn't need that either. Loses some health points, but that's also not that big of a deal. Loses the percentage health and mana. So his mana will go down to 349. Ew. That is poo. Poopy. This is the one that gives him health. And mana. Six mana regen. Okay. What can I forge on it? Armor health, mana health regen. So we could get rid of the uh, negative health regen. And since there's no mana regen on it, let's just do that. Get rid of the negative health regen. So now he doesn't degen himself to death in fights. So that's good, I don't need to pay attention to that. Why does she have three skill points? Oh yeah, because I took this out. Yeah. Whatever. So she could inherit these pants for some better overall resistances. Some more health. Health and mana. Minus two mastery though. 95% goes to 90%. But she gains more health and mana. Sure. That is mental though. Sure! It's fine. I'm not using her, so it's, it's whatever. It doesn't really matter. Empty pedestal. All right. I feel a faint echo of magic here. An item of great power was skipped here once. Where is it now? Can you feel it? No, it's long gone now. Someone must have taken it, or it has been destroyed. That's probably where the uh, the thing will appear once you snuff out the suns. But I don't know how to snuff out the suns. Relic chest. Ooh, that is... Garbage, probably. Let's see. It's a two-handed physical weapon. Faster, a lot faster. Not nearly enough armor penetration compared. It has some stun, same cleave. No crit, plus two might. But his deeps would go up to 30. But his per, per shots would not go... Actually, his per shots... Repair hits wouldn't go down that badly. It's 10 damage less per hit. And also, he's got earth damage, so, you know, that can be nothing compared to... Depending on what the enemy has, because this guy has no magic penetration. 24 armor penetration goes to 17. And, and he loses the cleave as well. Although... Yeah, okay, the Siege Hammer is starting to become shit. 31. 29. 18. Poor Siege Hammer. Starting to fall off. Stun chance? Does this have stun chance? No. This one has. 14% stun chance would be nice. 72 cleave, okay. Armor penetration is probably what I would put on this. Yeah. So it would be 16 armor penetration instead of the 19. That's only 3 less. Uh, it's 0.10 attacks per second faster. That's the main thing, right? That he can actually fucking swing his weapon. What can I enchant onto this? Weapon. Melee weapon. It is no two-handed distinction, so... 5% damage recovered as health. 
25% damage is bleeding. I could have the second upgrade for this. I could have the second upgrade for this as well. 12% reduced armor. That's not as good as 12 flat. I don't know why this is a percentage base. It's kind of shit. If it was flat 12, it would be better. Unless, of course, you know, later on the percentage is better. But right now I feel like the flat 12 would be better. I could put Whirlwind on it. Actually. Wait a minute, Mono Drain. And I could have the second one as well, that's 5%. I could put that on, and then he would not run out of mana that much. Yeah, okay. So... Sea Tremor thingy... Like, sure, it's very crit. But it hits, like, every four seconds. And that's trash. With this, it hits every three seconds. Which is better. There's no way back. It's gone. It's dead now. It's dead. What do I forge on this? Oh yeah, magic pen would be uh, the, the one for, to forge on this. However, why would I do that? I don't need that. Yeah, I might go back to the the city and get the level 2s for the melee weapons and put either the obsidian edge maybe or the monasteel because that cleave is not that big of a deal it already has decent cleave so in front of him in like what is that like a 60% or not 60% 60% damage but like in a 60 it's either a 60 or a 90 degree cone It's not that good, but... I mean, the whirlwind would be only like, what, 20%? 20% of your damage. Every time he attacks, 4 meter radius. That's, that's not good. If this was like, I don't know, 50%, then sure, because it's basically the cleave damage. But 20%? Pfft, no. Because he doesn't need life drain, because he can hammer himself. Mother drain is more important to him. This is also kind of low, but I have the second level. This is poopy. It's probably gonna be mono drain. Let's do the mono drain one. Which which one is the mono drain? Is it the, the dead? The undead? No, the undead is that. Okay. Orcs. Orcs are the armor, and they give a two-handed. Oh, full earth. Well, I already have a full earth two-handed axe. I like it when it has this whirlwind as well. Heh. <laughs> and it has armor penetration when it deals full elemental damage. That is stupid. Why would that be? <laughs> this? Well, rip. Um, I don't need that. Magic constructs? Do you have the. Yes, you have the monasteel. 4%? Uh, I mean, it's still 4 instead of 2. It's still double. I guess we're killing some skeletons. Ready to serve, my lord. Oh, so sorry, not skeletons. Uh, Skeleton-looking constructs. Right. Yes. That's exactly what we're doing. Oh. Acknowledge. Yes, moving. At once, sire. Oh, he just murdered it. Oh wait, this On is like easy wine. mode. Shoot them. Yeah. Oh wait, they can speed it up. I keep forgetting that the speed up is a thing. It's probably for this stuff, right? But it's just a bunch of shit. It doesn't really matter. Then you can just do this. Yes, sire. At once, sire. <laughs> okay, game. Death lolale, it is. My blade Bam. is yours to command. He's basically saying death to everybody Blue. who plays lol. 
It's honestly, I can kind of sympathize with <laughs> Wee Point. Orders, moving out. Money Marte. One, two. Buckle my shoe. Going. Money Nata. Coming. Going. Coming. Money Marte. Get fucked. One, two. One, two. I don't even need to see what's happening there. Look, look at him go! <laughs> Speed walks over there. Magic constructs. More traps! Oh shit, traps. Who's gonna get trapped? Sire? Uh, Maeve and whatever the face. We don't, we don't care. I mean. Look at this. Orders? Trap gone! Boom, done. Kill yeah, this trap. Oh, I broke I this guy out? Whoops. Whatever. Oh, that yes. trap is fucking gone. Heru, I mean. All right. All right, people. Consider it done. Okay, your buttholes over here. Yes, moving. Okay, goes in here. On my way. So he stands in this corner. At your service. Mr. Dwarf stands in here. Advancing. <laughs> Money. I just kind of speed it up. Right between the eyes. On my way. Ooh. She's on her way to Glitchland. All right, magic constructs. Defend Monords. Oh, I hate the defense mission. Like, uh, yes, my lord. I can destroy, but defend? <laughs> Money Marte. Money Marte, indeed. Consider buddy. it done. Actually, yes. why am I even doing that? Okay, so who's over here? Who are you? I can do that. Money. Sire? Kane. Get in there. Into right on there, good. Morph. Yes, Advancing. Get yes, right in there. Yes. Coming. Oh, there's a boss. Oh. Money not done. Money not done. Done. Cool. Uh, magic construct. Oh yeah, the magic constructs are the ones. I get a flame sword as well. Construct blade masters. These are the ones that give extra damage. Serve, on, right? my lord. These are fucking garbage. As long as it's not the armor aura, guys, of I don't course. care. Okay, we set up nice and easy. Go pop yes, them. Sir. You go pop these guys so they know how to fight. Marte. Right between the eyes. Yes. Right between the hoo ha. Shoot. Yes, them. my lord. For so honor and glory. Go in there. Sire? Sire? Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. Got the fire blade for the dune. 
I'm gonna actually wield it now. It's got the uh, physical one. And skeletons don't like fire. So it has life leech on it. It has a. It has no slots. So. Ah, these one have four slots. This one doesn't. That's kind of shitty. It still shows what could be critical chance. Wait, is this a crit sword? Oh my god, 51% crit. It is a crit sword. 0. 0.42. So it's fast. Fast fire. 20% magic ban. So that's good. It's very good. So anything that doesn't like water is this. Anything that doesn't like fire is this. Anything else, we just bash them. Alright. Kane has pretty good weapon selection again. That's nice. Ah, uh, like old times. When that shit mattered. Destroy elite portals. It will be my pleasure. My blade is yours to command. Yes. Kill. Your wish is my command. Yeah, cause look at them, they don't like fire. Minus 10% already, minus 20%. And with his minus 20 penetration, or his 20 penetration, these are like minus 30 and minus 40% fire. Yeah, he's gonna destroy face again. Which is cool, because... This means that even though he's just, uh, whatever. Can, we can do better. Let's kill those weirdos. Consider it done. Consider it done. Going. I am a lord. Throw your shit. Advancing. May the light guide your path. He just, lord? He just goes in there. Yes, moving. I don't even know what that is, but I don't care. I never miss. We don't need to care. They're dead. Got the enchant. Nice. All right. So what? What did I want to enchant? Again? Oh yeah, his little hammer gets enchanted. Mono drain. It's for ranged weapons. What? No. It cannot be. But it is. Damn. We got a new one though. Elemental golems. What do they give? Money. Ooh, Elemental Protection 2 increases resistance to elements by 12%. That's for shields. Huh. This looks like it was made in some kind of computer-generating program, like a 3D render something, and this is like hand-drawn looking. If they look so different. Anyways. Oh, we got a golem's chainmail for Maeve, I guess, or maybe for uh, Boron. Decent resistances, nice health, health regen, and uh, shit for movement speed. So it's definitely not for Boron. Although Boron can jump, so he doesn't really care about speed. And based on the extra health, it's it's actually for Boron. And there's another boss, and it gives us regenerative oils too. It restores 1% health each second. I think that's for... Head armor? Maybe? No, it's for chest armor. Chest. 1% health each second. I mean, that would be nice if he could actually have that. Elemental aura. Oh, yeah, this thing. Which is like the feet. Well, wait. Oh, yeah, resistance aura. 6% 6% So everybody could have 
in a 14 meter radius and 6% in a 20 meter radius. Everybody. Because why not? Mental immunity. Oh, there's elemental protection for ch chest armor as well. So I don't know if it's the shield or the chest one for the elemental protection, but why would you want to do this when you can just stack this on and everybody could benefit? Uh, sure, this is 2% less, but it affects the others as well. Although the mages are not going to have that, because the mages will have the... What's Macaulay? What's on this one? Oh yeah, he's got the Aura of Flux. Shit. Although it's not that big of a deal, but it's still shit. What can rings have? One mana per each weapon hit. That's okay, but not that good. And he's got... Magic Penetration. Oh, he could... It gets 10%. Look at that. 59% magic ban. That's decent. Alright, let's get back in the tower. Yeah, because because I don't really care about this. They give two enchants and one item. That's nice. I don't really need this charity oil stuff. We have healers. We have self-heals. We have party heals. We have, we have everything that's healing. Only my Aave can't heal. But she doesn't need to, she kills. Tower of Batar has her own library. Nice. Oh, there's the living firewall. Can't really do anything with that. Okay, so that didn't really give us anything useful against the suns. Still don't know how to snuff them out. As long as I don't snuff them out, I don't get the amulet piece either. Not, where did they? Where did they come from? Oh, this way. Okay. Okay. Um. Actually, I'm going the wrong way. Actually, no, I'm not. I need to go back to the instructors, right. So let's just go to the teleporter. Wait a minute, why is there water now here? Ah, was this water always here? This was not here before. Aspiring mage, the shrine of the element of fire has stood for millennia, its fierce flame guarding the treasure within. In this fountain you will find Aqua Aquis, mother of all waters, but in these halls only it may douse flames of magic. Oh, so maybe after we killed the big fire guy. This activated. Aqua Aquis! This is sacred to our people, we know high mighty artifacts are the best made of this material. Once frozen in great ice, in the great ice forges, high atop the world, it is said that it never melts, remaining stronger than the strongest of metals. Intriguing! I would visit these forges a few one day, if we give the chance. Alas, we are few in numbers now, and we lost them to the drifting snows many generations before my own. Pfft, convenient! How's the pity? Indeed, Rockin. Look, there's a water skin here. Let's take some pearls, it will be of use. Ah. Alright, now we begin our journey back. To douse the flames of the suns. I may have completely missed it, but I seem to recall that I looked at it and there was nothing in it, so I don't know. Whatever. What a curious flame. It looks like the one on the fire altar back there. I see another one in the distance and another. Look. Is it not obvious? These are the six suns, you stupid fucks. Ah, so if we dazzle six, we can get the treasure. It's worth the try. Let's do it. Swoosh. Nice. Hopefully, the water skin has enough water in it. 
some water water second son we're killing his sons third son there's son number four down there one is outside of the area I don't know where the sixth one is though I think I saw it but I don't remember I also have to go back to the golem. Oh yeah, that's where the sixth zone is. Behind the alien. Duh. But the alien... Oh yeah, there's the alien. Oh yeah, because this is where we killed the big fire guy, right? Oh yeah, there. We've got the crystal and we ventured forth into the alien's lair. There's a sun. Another sun die. There's a teleporter, so might as well pop out. Back to the instructors. Or supervisors. Fire crystal. Congratulations, students! You have retrieved the fire crystal. You have achieved the rank of journeyman. Removing barrier to Earth sector. Cool. Look, it burns now. How nice. Blah, 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 blah. Alien Y, pedestal, living pedestal. There was a beacon when we started going down the stairs. So let's go here. Go! God damn it! There we go. Because we can go down to the golem as well. Chant him up. Ask him whether he wants to just journey the world and the universe and the cosmos, neutralizing everything around. What is this thing? Hello! Kill yourselves! What the fuck? Yes, you kill yourself. How strange. Please kill yourself. No. It was I. Why? What? I still have to do this? I'll do it. Oh shit! Okay, Mai was okay with it because treasure. Whisper is okay with it because she's a backstabber, she's a shadow. So, you know, she wants to be like, yes, we'll do it. <coughs> nope. And Boron is okay with it because well, it's in his name. So we lose armor, we lose. Mana re Mana generation. Ah, <laughs> no. Golem chain in the recesses of the tower is unlikely to be summoned of noteworthy measure. Uh, no, the golems of your champion can't possibly hinder the quest. The golem's impression. For this reason, creature's boon must be the thing weighing on your mind. Focus your will on the champions, encouraging them to save whatever it is necessary to attain the boon, despite their obvious disgust at the creature. Almighty oh, indisposed golem, we sacked your offer, grant us your boon, and do as you ask. Thank you, brave interlopers! One shall step forward and receive your reward. Pick one champion to receive the boon of fire resistance. Uh, you return, have you found what? Yeah. Have you found why? Is he neutralized? Yay and nay. You found why, a most curious being, as we had no chance to prevail in a fight with him, we decided to listen to him instead. You found his offer more compelling than yours, we you listen to us. It does not seem I have much of a choice, doesn't it? Does it? I cannot just leave this place. Think about all the places you could visit while traveling with him. The marvels you would get the chance to experience, new sights to behold, rarely does one get such an interesting offer. I have not considered that. I, I thank you for your insight. But 
but he's a golem. He, not, he must neutralize. It's his programming. It would be a terrible shame if I had managed to neutralize you before you gave me this new perspective. So, can we go back to Y and tell him that you accept his offer? Oh, no, not yet. I must think about it. Ponder it. all the implications. I need some time. A few years should do it. Huh? Years? 70% fire resistance. No, he's negative. She's receptive, though. And this guy's sympathetic now. An extra 2% health. Oh, she does 2% skill power. Oh. That'll be 20% if I can max her out. That's actually not bad. It's decent. Rakim is back to normal. That's okay. I think he's 1%. He lost some... Oh, wow. He fell from fucking 4 to 2? How did he fall two levels? What? What? He, what is he done? Oh wait, no, he was on three, and this one was on two. They swapped. Yeah, because she gained, gained. Okay, two percent attack speed. This hurts, but it doesn't hurt as much as before. Why can't I close this? Oh, there we go. Okay, right, so let's go back to why. Tell him about the things. And on our way, extinguish the lost sun. Because it's somewhere around. I think. Yeah, right there. Die! Ah! Nice. So we can snag that amulet. I don't know if any of. If, if any one of you have counted, that was the last of the suns. Well then, let's go back to the thing, yes. Well. Reading is hard. Fire amulet collected. Nice. This goddamn background music does not fit this area at all. Little peaceful ass shit music. I hate it. Actually, this is not the way. Oh, uh, yeah, this is just the empty pedestal with a living firewall. I still don't know what the deal with that is. Maybe why, if you'll tell us. It looks like these two places connect, huh? Interesting. That looks so stupid. <laughs> How is it not coming out? What the fuck? Look at that one. It's even hotter. And under it, it's flowing. But that one is just there. It's even clipping. Ah. My eyes. Hey, why? Hello, strangers. How do you fare in your travels? We have already met. Effie, yeah, yes, it was well. Time matters not, so did you convince him? Spoke with him. He certainly became more receptive to your offer. He said he needs a few years to consider the implications, but I believe he will come around. Why oh, suddenly shudders violently in the vat, splashing green liquid all around him. He appears to be laughing. Well, he at least hope he's laughing. And he's splendid. I will give him all the time that he needs. So now, be prepared to receive a mighty reward for your efforts. Stand back, or the power of my presence will annihilate you. The party is overwhelmed by a bright light, and they feel something is changing in them on a profound level. The champions shudder from experience and look at each other, trying to understand what has happened. They slowly realize the nature of this boon. They now stink. They can now read their own minds. Not those of their companions, but their own. Truly wonders gift. <laughs> Wait, why, why would you even want to read your own mind? You can already... What? Pointless. There, hope you like it. Champions do not know what to respond to that. Certainly they would not want to fund this creature, so they stay silent, trying to look awe-stricken. I know, I know. Uh, since you show proper respect here, a small item I found stashed at the bottom of this vat. Blip. It's the band of distilled mana. Wow. 
Alien Y. Ah, this one is wonderful. I think I'll stay here for another 23 seconds or even 25. Whoa, 25 seconds. The band of distilled mana. It came out of the wet he's fermenting in. Is this his cock ring? Anyways, 50 mana points. 1% mana regeneration. Oh. Ooh la la. This elder shaman thingy is meeting its match. 4.8 mono regeneration. Maeve can just spam bear traps now. It gives to mastery that's not really interesting. Wait, it has an enchant, so can I swap the enchant out? I mean, actually... It's the ethereal absorption that it has. It's a tier 2 ethereal absorption. It can only go into leg. So the Mana Siphon is a worse version. A lot worse. And we don't have the other two. So actually... I do not want to swap it out. To Mastery, she doesn't really need that. 50 mana. She also doesn't really need that. Like she, sure, she, she runs out of mana, but her base damage is just so good. It's it's fine. This guy needs mana. To and this would really put him to a good place with mana. Rakim, what do you have? That is absolute garbage, and that is just... yeah, I, I remember this one. Five mana regen. Okay, that could really solve his issues. So he loses some armor, it's fine. Loses some health points. Yeah. So he loses armor, loses some health, gains a lot of mana. Loses some movement speed and health regen. Gains two mastery. Mastery is okay for him, for his fire spells. Yeah. I think I want to keep this on him. It's because I don't use Whisper, so she's fine. Boron is rage. Now he's got 67 rage. Don't know what determines this. Oh, increased by leveling and items. Okay, so because he was he was on 50. No, wait. Actually, he was on 70, but now he's on 67. He lost three. What the fuck? Maybe mana increasing things increases rage somehow. I don't know. I don't care. So yeah, this asshole would have a lot of extra mana. So, armor penetration, magic penetration, mono regeneration 1. Because he doesn't need this might thing, right? 9.1! Okay, he doesn't need that. He definitely doesn't need this much mono regen. But he does need the health regen. Okay, so Rockham is going to get it. Cool. Whatever this is, it can fuck off. So forge something on this. Health, mana, health, regen, mana regen, even point one. An extra point one, wow. Movement speed, mastery. Mastery would be nice. Movement speed would also be nice because he has no movement skills. So he can dash. Yeah. He's like the slowest now. That one speed on this. Kinda sucks, but it has to be done. Actually, fuck that. You can throw fireball and put down traps to aggro people from a distance. Yeah. It's some extra. That's alright. 5.1 mana region. Okay. 
That will be very good. And an extra 50 mana to boot. Yeah, okay, so his mana should be a lot better now. He barely runs out, only in very long confrontations. She has her immense strength as the main thing, anyways, and he just sits and doesn't die. <laughs> so that's cool. Thanks for the ring, bruh. Nice. Alright, so... We have the living firewall that we don't know what to do with, and this empty pedestal. Everything else is done. We got the pistol, got the suns, got the amulet. So we need one more amulet for the uh, wisp guy. And then we're... We're done with that. Oh? Oh, we can't teleport here. Because that was the door, so we couldn't get close enough to activate it, so I can't teleport up there. But this thing is collapsed, so I can't actually go up here, I have to go around. Ah. Rage. I might just go up to the Earth sector and stop there for today. Maybe do a little more, uh... Wait, no, it was active! What the fuck? Why wouldn't it let me go? Ooh, hold on. Look at this. What is that? Is that the blueprint? No, it's just a crater scroll. I need that fucking blueprint! What should be the wisp that gives us the blueprint? <sighs> Anyways. Uh... I got a lot of money, though, so... Maybe I could upgrade somebody. Although, I don't... oops. I don't really need them upgraded. Should I train Kane? He would get some health. Seven hundred monies. It's actually quite expensive. So we need three thousand for the three buildings. I have a feeling I will get the blueprints in order, you know. So I'm not gonna have like two for the artificer hall or artificer hall, and then one for the mage tower, and then none for the armory. So there's one on the current level for one of these, and then probably so maybe it's for the armory, but then I'm gonna get this and that, or this and that like they balanced it out so it, they appear in order somewhat and this would be nice because my would go up to 10 a 10 would mean she would definitely get the extra crit like an extra 3% or 5% crit yeah 3% that would be nice Kano would be, uh... Kano could max out the fucking healing. And almost max out the, uh, in reinforced armor. Could also get Command Aura. I think some of the enemies had Command Aura already. I think it's that you can, like, signal to your teammates to attack one enemy and that enemy gets a lot of extra damage received or some shit. I think some of the enemies had that. Didn't do them much good. This guy could go up to 10 and he would have... Ice Change! Ooh, and Blind Rage. Interesting. I feel like Revival is going to be fucking useless. Earth Curse is kinda useless. Yeah. Earth Resistance Reduction, but... We don't really use a lot of Earth. My views is some earth. She's got like one earth power. Uh, he's got the jump. And I guess the earth hammer. He's got no earth. I guess the stone wall, but it doesn't actually do damage. 
Maybe the Blades of Justice are Earth. He's basically fire. And this doesn't do damage. Yeah, I don't know about this Earth curse. I mean, sure, Earth Fury is also here, but it's kind of poop. I need to know the uh, side upgrades first. What about his level 10? We get fireballs for days. He would get the next main upgrade and side upgrade for the runes, which is nice. He would get the uh, the hammer stuff, which is also nice. Get flame running stuff. And he would receive Firestorm. What is this music? What the fuck is happening? Hey, Paul. You came just at the end of the stream. I'm just looking at shit before ending. Trying to contemplate life. So we got Blizzard. Good game. Yeah, it's fun. It's fun enough. Very basic story. And the performance of the game kind of tanks. Uh, after level 3. Like, I'm on level 4 right now. And loading times are noticeably longer. And there's flickering while loading, but, you know, apart from that, it's fine. The combat is interesting as well. Like, I can I can show you the combat. Going to Dead Knights. Sire? So you basically go around in an overworld, and whenever you go into battle, it's like Anybody. its own... Squad-based uh, combat stuff. They can just do things. Like elements and armor penetration and like crowd control is very important. But it's it's really cheesable. Like extremely cheesable. It's it's very nice. I'm enjoying it. Yes. Personally. Like honestly, uh crowd control areas are so goddamn good. And also the guy with the summons is just uh disgusting. Disgusting. Done. I don't suppose it's even a semi-open world. No, it's not open world. It's not one of those fucking dime a dozen open world games, no. It's basically, so there's a tower, a tower of time, it's an upside down tower that appears in the world. And you go in, and every level has a set amount of stuff that you can do. You don't have to do all of them, you know, the main quest is basically the most, the only thing that you have to do. You have your party, you gather more people, like at the, at the beginning you only start with two people, that's when the game is the hardest, because you can get overwhelmed very quickly. And you can have four people in your active combat party uh, at max, and the rest are just tagging along and like adding their own stuff to the uh, to the talks. So the open world is basically this: you see the map, and you go through the map. You do quests, uh, you you fight battles, you upgrade stuff. There's there's a pretty decent upgrade system. You can craft stuff. There's heavy armor, light and medium armor, and there's also different weapon types, uh, according to your party members. Different tiers, different rarities, different enchants. Uh, oh yeah, we can transmute as well. So there are enchants for weapons on top of the crafted rolls. You can also forge things. Like, see these pants have two forge slots. You can also forge them. So there is a pretty decent uh, customizability when it comes to itemization. And you can also break things down into crystals that you can use to upgrade other stuff. Well, that's pretty cool, but yeah, there's also this alignment system, which is like, eh, it doesn't add much, it's not that important. But yeah, so the overworld is this, you go around, walk, walkity walk, and then you see things like, oh, there's a note here. It's basically a lot of lore dump. It's it's like the Final Fantasy games or the Pokemon games, right? The the older Pokemon games where you just walk around in the overworld and then you suddenly 
see something nasty and you kill it. Like, you see, there are some enemies here, so if I got closer, they would be like, Yeah, let's fight! And then it shows you what kind of enemies are in the match, what modifiers are, maybe there are portals, maybe there are defense objectives, uh, maybe there's just a lot of the enemies, maybe they have elites, and then you do the combat, but that I already showed you that part, the combat stuff. It's, it's nice, it's a linear game, it's a fantasy game, it's like a role-playing stuff. It's not quite D&D, &D, but it's not bad, I enjoy it. It's, it's fun, it's fun enough. However... Actually, I don't want to save in the tower. It gets, let's get back on the level. I don't know how many levels there are, or are there, but... You know, there's space for more levels, you know, there could be. There's at least four levels. Actually, at least five, because I know this is not the final level, so, you know. So it's fairly lengthy as well, and you can get lost in the uh, mic uh, the min-maxing of items. Like, I, I, I personally, like, spent hours just min-maxing shit for no reason. Because it's not that important right now. There's also, you can reroll chests and gold piles that you pick up to get different uh, amount. So, you know, that's also very funny. Uh, the exploitation and cheesing of the game. But that's fine, anyways. You, 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 you will have to watch the VOD. Because I'm down for today. I did all I wanted to do. I'll, I'll probably be back tomorrow. Same time. But anyways, uh, hope you enjoyed. If you like uh, fantasy games and this kind of squad-based combat where there's a lot of CC and it, it does matter what kind of uh, elemental damage or physical damage you use, then, then yeah, check it out. Anyways, goodbye. And now you start talking.